The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. One, two, three. Rain, talk to me. We're gonna hit a beat and talk about my Eve. Everybody, oh, you know what I say? God. I'm gonna do a beat. And Make it stop. It's Why? time to stop. Why? Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> stop. Stop. Rock, paper, scissors, right? We don't want Eve to be okay. as simple as okay. shut the fuck up, Seto. Bunch of like memes and these small gangers are like, we're the elite of the elite. Do not fuck with us. We will kill you. We are the best players ever. It's like, dude, I did your shit. I did it better than you did. And it's like, yeah. You know what this conversation is like? When I say not enough uh, super die in Delph, and people tell me, oh, look, there's a super die in Delph. So it's like, when I'm what are talking, we about the talking about issue, We were talking about fucking balance, not super yeah. dying in Delph. Look, Why look, does look, everything look. with you have to be about super fucking dying in Delph? Shut Del up. Shut up. Like, uh, it's, it's an analogy. Moron. It's an <laughs> you guys stop arguing. You're actually like fucking married couple. Jesus Christ. No, don't stop arguing. <laughs> oh, it is trash talk. Too. I was like. Hello, and welcome to Trash Talk Tuesday. My name is Redline13, and you are now watching the third most popular EVE Online talk show broadcasting on twitch.tv at 9 p.m. Eastern, 0200 EVE, because apparently there are multiple shows that like this time slot, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So, welcome everybody to the stream. Um, we're joined by a bunch of people in the chat. Everybody in the chat, say hi. Hey, hi. shut up, Redline. No. Hey, guys. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, you guys Hello. suck. All yeah, we're missing did. some portraits, Redline. I know we're missing some portraits. Um, to all my yeah, American the... friends, I, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Ate a bunch of uh, turkey, ham, and uh, got to see your friends and family safely and, and all that fun stuff. I know Drink I'm still eating. Beer. Still eating turkey from Thursday. Kind of sad. Um, so yeah, how's everybody going tonight? Everybody doing okay? Been yes. Good deal. Peachy. So we've got a lot of topics to cover tonight. Um, it seems that Delve is just the gift that keeps on giving. Um, as it turns out. And we are joined by Briss Screwball, who is going to probably get mad at me um, for segment that we're. Why am I going to get mad? At the first. Why am I going to get mad? Because the first half of this show to the first hour and a half, I'm going to call the Nullsec Power Hour, just just because. Because a, you're out of all good, ideas. It's it's a good name, you know. I came up with yeah, it, came up that. with it myself. What, 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 what? Why don't we do something more original, like the Nullsec Honesty Hour? The Nullsec yeah. Honesty Hour. That would never hour. happen, Billy. Really. That, that would Brisk. never happen. We don't want to now. include Brit. We, we have like an, Billy's if, here. If we, can we have That's a button true. or something where if somebody says something inaccurate, we just spam it and like to drown them out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever hear anything like that applause? I believe yeah. that's done with Fs by the viewers in chat. Fact fact checking people live is my new favorite thing. So live fact right? checkers, guys. There's 132 I, of you really, fact check say, everything. I'll be honest. I was slightly triggered last night by that whole thing because it's like literally I'm I'm showing you a screenshot. This is live. I'm not lying. There are contracts at that cost, and you guys went crazy. It was, it was. Uh, yeah, because you got caught crazy. in the most bold faced lie. It's not a lie. lie. It's not a lie. It's it not is, a lie. It Wait, is it not a lie. lie. I need some How context. Can you tell here. Them a lie? You can, all right, so so we so, were talking. TIS was on last night. Billy was on TIS. They were talking about somebody asked Billy what the price of cormorants was. Horde cormorants in T5Z. I guess they were setting up a joke. So I logged on my Horde Spy all. <laughs> And I pulled it up, and I guess I must have had my, my thing set for most expensive first. And I looked, and I had a whole page of 32 million S corn. So I said 32 million S. And then I took a screenshot because I knew they wouldn't believe me, and I put it up there. Now, apparently, there are cheaper cormorants there, but there were like 40 32 million S cormorants in T5Z in Horde Alliance contracts. But I'm a liar because that's what I said. I mean, yeah, Brisk, put, was it your spy that put those up, though? No! I don't, I don't sell things. Who puts contracts up for Reliance, honestly? 
Well, everybody actually. That's how absolutely all the you do alliance. Yeah, never, everybody does that. Yeah. The public. You always do a public. So why would you buy it? You, then your enemy no. can buy it. No. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. What? Okay. So look, here's a special announcement. I make money. So yeah. never put Jeremy in charge of your alliance logistics contracts. <laughs> and here's never why. Put Jeremy in charge, Go back period. to 30 seconds ago and listen to what he just told you. That is not I true. Don't... Never do that. I can actually corroborate Brist's story that I bet you 100% true with the corms. Whose side are you on, Riker? I, I do truth. The truth side is of truth. truth. No, there's a side on well, in okay, the words right, of George that's Costanza, that's if you've watched if you watch Seinfeld in the words of George Costanza, it's not a lie if you believe it. That's like a boomer American show. How do you know that as like a European zoomer? Uh, they don't want it over. No, no, no. It's a, it's a what's a zoomer it, though? though? I love Seinfeld. Like, I've been I know a this boomer, like, but what's a zoomer? A boomer is generation Z, so after a millennial. So Z, Z for Zoomer. Yeah. They're just entering the workforce. Is it because they're like they're on speed all the time now? Yeah. Anyways, sense. guys, I have a special announcement to make to everybody here. What um, part of my show are you going to rip off this time? We made, <laughs> we made partner, you dude. Show? We made oh, partner. Oh, oh, we already, already, didn't I already tell everybody that? Yeah, you did, you but there's only like 30 people on your show anyways. Whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck, <we> <laughs> the rest are mindless drones. Don't, don't so, play the one true thing that Briss said. Like we should upplay the one true thing that he's ever said. It is, don't it downplay is it. Thank you, so Briss. That was a wonderful thing that you did. Tell him the truth. I am get, always truthful. Frank we is the one partner. That so what I don't that trust. means for everybody that watches everybody is trust. that in future weeks, as soon as we get our fancy skin codes, you're gonna see giveaways. There's gonna be at least like Three or four of them every Tuesday that we're going to run throughout the stream. So if you want some cool, fancy skins to fly around in your ships, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the first one is a it's a it's a it's a frigate skin, and <laughs> it's a pirate frigate that anybody can fly, even alphas. Um, it's white. Uh, so being that you that there's only like one pirate Sarah. skin in the line, you've literally told everyone what it is. Okay, but did I? No, yeah. there's only one skin in the world. It was by a beat around right. the bush, though. He didn't directly say which I'm, I'm kind of scratching my they head on this one. I, I don't really give pay attention to skins, but uh, congratulations, Redline. I presume the reports will hopefully allow you to finally get that that uh, vendetta you've been lusting for. Um, well, the rewards are actually going to go to pay the writers for New Eden Post. and um, Wait, we get paid? Yeah, you get paid. You're gonna get paid eventually as soon as I log in and do it. So thanks. <laughs> thanks Payment is reliable as Imperium War Bonds. Jesus. So the writers are gonna pay you from his day worker account, dude. He's gonna sell himself out. The writers are gonna get paid, but not the not the other streamers. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't how's it how's it how are they gonna pay you? to stream if you don't stream and don't log in, Redline. I do log in. I logged in about 30 minutes ago, actually. I don't believe it. Where were you on the last fleet? Uh, probably at work still. Anyways, Where are that's... You on this fleet? Uh, I'm here, obviously. You're going to be on the 04 fleet. I'm here and I'm on the fleet, Redline. I'm not going to be on the 04 fleet. I'll be in bed. Risk. I'll trade you Redline for, like, 10 Ferox souls. That, that's actually a good deal. What? For what? which side? What? You can't just trade me. You can't just. That's not okay. okay I think he's going to go talk early. about you. So, Anyways, you so feed a lot. So I've for the last few minutes we've been trying to get the the topics out for what we're going to talk about tonight and our nulls. I mean, um, what what are we calling it, Billy? The the free no honesty hour. The NullSec Honesty Hour, where we're going to tell you all about what's happening in NullSec, including the latest in World War B. I've also got a Keepstar for sale, 69 billion esque, and it's yours. Uh, I've okay, also got. Done, bought. Well, that's. Nice. No, you, you, you said 69. I'm buying. You can't say anything but nice, Billy, so your thing is void. Yeah, you just have to say nice. Like, it's a nice. joke. Obviously, I can't sell the Keepstar. It's Pittsburgh's Keepstar. No, no, Redline. It's the NoSec Pro Feed Hour. Um, anyways, we're also going to be talking about something that I know Briss Kate's talking about, um, and it's whether the goons are actually broke or not. Um, 
and they've been talking about war bonds or something like that. So I don't I don't know what the deal is with that, but we're gonna dig into it. Um and also we're gonna pay a little bit of fan service <laughs> to our friend the Mitani, um, who really wants us to pay attention to his war update. So we're gonna go through the war update and uh we're gonna talk about it's some a good of that. war update. You oh yeah, no, it's fantastic. Update. I read it through three times. Um I had did several tears. I did, did yeah. You I found took... out the really long words in I case did. they were tough. Right. Um, I think my most favorite word was fulcrum. I actually did have to look that up. Um, I yeah, thought I knew NFC. what it. I thought I knew what it meant, Wait, and I did know what school? it meant, but I did look it up just to make sure. Isn't that I thought a he player? was in um, mangoes. Yeah, mangoes FC, wasn't it? Is that old Rooks and King guy? My dad said you never learn anything from video games. You do. Um, totally and wrong. Then, Shit. I and learned then more we're from also going to talk about. We're going to take our our first stream as partner, and we're going to talk about how um, CCP is really messing up with these the ESS, DBS, drone aggression changes. Um, so hopefully they don't get too mad at us when we talk about that. Can um, I say something, Redline? Absolutely. Hi, LB. That's all I wanted to say. Go ahead. Oh, Redline, I think you need to just get out the belt take control of this room, put us all in our place, make us your bitches tonight. That's that what, what I you, think you should do tonight. Is that what uh, you want? That's really what he wants. Pretty hot, to be honest. He wants you to pour some sugar on him. So I don't think you... I think you might be the only person that wants that, and I think you want it for a different reason than most of the other people in the channel might want it. Um, see me after class, okay? I, I will see say for the record, class. I do not want that. To sit sure. Through, if you're sure, ending stuff out. sure. You have to say that though, otherwise the it ends red room this campaign. Oof. All right. So where are we going to start? Where do you guys want to start? Do you want to? Do we want to start off with Pittsburgh? Should we start in impasse? Oh, we want to hear from Brisk about the war bonds. That's why I'm really excited. Here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the war bonds. Brisk is just going to say there's no war bonds. We're not selling war bonds. I mean, it's he's just not, a he's game. In it's it. all. It's not real. We're just playing. Just we're just having have, fun. It's just fun, guys. War. Do the war bonds come into effect? Is it before or after you lose one EQ? The the war bonds come into effect when we are so absolutely broke that we can't do anything. So in January, when the so like, cores are required. So they were last year. No, no. This this that will that will be a very long time from now. Did you, guys, did you guys think that that wait, was wait, wait, wait. You, So you just said you were only going to sell war bonds when you were so absolutely broke that you need them, right? Correct. So is this a, could, could most people interpret this as a holy shit we announced war bonds and everybody freaked out and perhaps we don't want to sell them now? Is, is that a no, possible read to it? No, that's absolutely not. Philly, did you li you did you said yourself yesterday that you didn't listen to the fireside. Yeah, I, I, I took to the it. time. I I went back again today and listened to it again. And the entire conversation about war bonds was this is the absolute last resort thing that we would do if we could not physically do anything else and we had to get something done. That's what it was. There's so, no. So, why, would, why would you ever why announce you that wait? though? Why do, uh, because we talk about wait, stuff, because wait, people wait, talk, wait. they ask questions, they ask stuff about finances. And since you have been going around for the last six months. But nobody asked a question. Broke, this was Matani's Billy, monologue. No, yeah. it, 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 was, it was the monologue, but it was also because the finance team was there and he was introducing the finance team and they were talking about how we were dealing with money issues. And if you go back and listen, that's part of the thing. Every every Money single issues. mention of war bonds, every doesn't yes. the finance team not know not to talk to everybody about financial issues? Did did well, have you guys I mean, not been paying attention man. to what's happening in the game? I'm with you, uh, we are. So let's, so let's take it with please, the ESS with the changes to let's drone aggression. Everybody three notches. Some generation. Just three. Everybody's three worried about making down. money. So they so, had the finance team want to talk about it. That's it. So it's important to clarify that the goons are not selling war bonds currently, but they did say and that. And there are no plans to do that. But well, yeah, no, we plans. talked about a yeah, that's right. There you talked plans. about a yes. no plans, plans plan. Come on. You talked about a no plans. plan plan. Yeah. There, there are plans. No plans. There's no plans. Okay, so we no, talked about it. Okay. Why don't, no why don't we talk plans. why don't we kind of redirect this to why are they waiting until we are almost 
completely smothering them in Delve before doing the more bonds. Of course. Because they should have done them well when we started we punching Delve to begin with important to overpower. That, it's that important. Natural, right? like, I swear to fuck. I swear God. to fuck. When when does Shut a up. company Stop. be quiet? <laughs> wow. Put that belt on my back, big boy. I will whip the <laughs> shit out of you. Look. <laughs> So nobody mm-hmm. is selling war bonds yet, okay? Correct. That's the thing. Nobody is doing it. However, for you to say that there is not a plan to do so stop, stop, in the stop. future is not necessarily specific. fair. Let However, to continue, okay. All right. just Red because line, there be is a backup plan does not necessarily mean that it is a bad thing. Correct. What I am saying and what Mitten said, if you listen to the fireside, is... They know how we know how to sell war bonds. We have done it in the past, not since he has been Alliance executor, but it was done in the past. We know how to do it. And because we're well aware that the goon player base is the richest player base in Eve, that if we needed to, we could go and get money from our members if we had to for Alliance level stuff. We do not have to. We don't expect we have to. He said he doesn't expect we have to, and that there are no plans to do that. But he said that other, they other might, than the other than the fact that there is a plan to. on paper that could be used in the future if necessary. I wanna, so I wanna, why do rich people, people stay rich? That has oh, a date. We're going to start doing it by a certain amount time. Of time. That's it. So, I want to bring up something. It's not so let, me, let me ask you this, Brisk. So why and i i understand that you're not imperium leadership you had nothing to do with bringing this plan up to anybody correct why why do why, you, you think why? this plan would be brought up at this point in time is it to prepare the members for the eventuality that they may be asked to purchase station names for isk that are just going to get destroyed and then other sorts of bonds like is that the expectation like if it's not something that you're planning on doing, why bring it up? Especially in a format that uh, the Matani so eloquently puts, we don't talk about future plans on the fireside. Why bring up a future plan if there's no intent to it's do it? Because it's not a future plan. Look, there's something out there. There are plenty of people who ask questions and say, hey, what are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about that? The meta show that day, we were in the almost one of the entire segments was brought up was about all of the scarcity changes because Correct. players are unhappy with the scarcity changes and everybody is wondering, okay, we got a big nut we got to pay in January. And Mittens was saying that he had been hearing, and obviously because Billy's been pushing this hard and he's doing it tonight, that we're broke and we can't afford to do stuff. So he's bringing stuff up saying, hey, everybody out there, if you're hearing stories that we're broke and we can't afford anything, one, obviously that's idiotic, but two, we have a plenty of different me- methods that we can go to get this money if we can't afford it in January, which is not going to be an issue, at least according to now. He said maybe it could be, All but right. it isn't right now, what is, and well, it's not likely to be. So listeners yeah. are intelligent people. I tend to, you know, on, on par in general, people just kind of get how things work. And there is not a company in the world that says, hey, you know what? Business is just going along as normal. Business is just going on great. By the way, here's our bankruptcy plans. Guess you what? Do, you do that. You do that company. when you have a reason to do it. Now, Every the funny thing is, is you you're wrong. You're had a bunch of correct. questions. You had a bunch you're of questions, wrong. and your response to those questions, instead of "Look, we're not going to do anything, guys. Go rat, go mine, go do this, run this, run that." No problems. The answer was, "We're coming up with a bond program, boys hey, and girls." How did a uh, Facebook start, or like GE, or like fucking Home Depot? What is that going to do I'm, with I'm, Eve? I'm, 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 because Every first of all, like whenever there's a significant influx, they came of, up with uh, venture capital. Here is the deal: every single company that is publicly traded files their K six stuff all the time. I think it's case maybe K seven. I can't remember. They file public documents that are filed with the F- SEC, at least American ones, that go through a whole bunch of stuff. And in the section, there's always a section that talks about what could impact your future plans. And it could be legislation, it could be changes in consumer attitudes, it could be all this kind of stuff. All the list of all the vulnerabilities that the company might have that could happen that could cause them issues. Right, 
So okay. fine. And on the quarterly so and on the it? quarterly calls or the yearly calls, when they Thank start you. bringing up the money, if the fucking top of the CEO ladder starts talking about bankruptcy plans, they could literally watch in real this time. Isn't a their bankruptcy, stock ticket. Though. This is this is literally like bonds, to offset, bankruptcy, to I, I have guys, alternate financial on. methods. I, I don't it's know what else to bullshit. tell you. This bullshit. Is bullshit. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. These I guys have don't get tendies, obviously. All right, about ladies, this. This ladies this. and this gentlemen, life, boys and really, girls, I am really going to, shit, I'm going to hold the floor for a second. We are all talking over each other, and yes, I boosted the Discord server, so the quality isn't that bad anymore. But I literally can't hear a goddamn thing any of you are saying. You're all just a bundle of words, and it's just coming out, and no one knows what you're saying. So I please. Look. Hi, Red Light. I just joined. Can I please have the floor for a minute? No, Thank I just you. want to play Village and Idiot. Perhaps. What the fuck is a war bond? And can someone explain that okay. in the simplest I, I turn? Because you're all talking a bunch of bullshit and nobody really Brain, knows what you're talking about. Brain, here's what it is. Basically, what they would do is players would loan the Alliance money. And then after a certain time, they would get the amount of money they got back plus interest. Can okay. I make a suggestion? If the that? Alliance survives. So yeah, if it survives. bank. But I mean, not historically, about... historically, you know, that was a thing as well. That's where they're getting. It's like not like they invented bonds. Bonds have existed for oh, at least since the first world war and probably before that. Can it I just is... make one suggestion though, Brisk? If you guys are going to be selling war bonds, do not sell ten dollar bonds to goons because they are not going to buy into that. Just Understand like... that Brisk has Funny. nothing to do with goon swarm selling. I war was setting bonds. up a joke where I got to shit on Darius Johnson. I'm sorry. Oh, oh for yeah. ten bucks. Uh, yeah, dude. That was a good one. That was well, actually not a good even, thing too. It's not so, even about like uh raising it's not even about uh like bankruptcy or or, or liquidity or anything. It, it it takes a while to convert assets to liquid over time. So it literally like no matter how much net worth you have as an entity in this current in game economy, it takes time to convert said asset into yes yeah, so, only if you so invested poorly points. if i needed i could convert like literally four trillion isk worth of assets into isk like literally tomorrow if i wanted to well Billy, like, we can do the same you thing can. but that's but assuming no, you, that no, you can't because you're, you're saying you need you're war bonds stuff that you're gonna sell that's not yeah. true oh dear lord i can't believe you guys you are so <laughs> desperate desperate to push this goons are broke thing i mean i don't understand how you can possibly nobody is trying to say goons are broke People are trying to say yesterday saying goons are broke. No, my point has always been a more nuanced point that goons are nowhere near as rich as everyone likes to pretend. They do not have a bottomless wallet. They do not have the infinite isk or infinite minerals. They are constrained by the same rules that everyone else is, despite the propaganda claims that because the MER for years was so high, goons have infinite isk to play with, and their losses mean nothing. You cannot defeat us. We are so rich. Hey, that Billy. is untrue. I don't mean okay. to interrupt you and everything that sounded good, but you're wrong. We, we and not only that. <laughs> well, but you, you, here's the okay, thing, Bill. That. Here's the thing, Bill. Here's the thing, Bill. You say I'm wrong, and yet every single event that takes place over the last six months, the fact you guys wouldn't commit to that fifth keepster, the fact you're now talking about war bonds, the fact you stripped every Athenor you own, the strap, fact you stopped fueling your Athenors, the stat, fact you're starting to unanchor keepsters, all of those things speak to the fact that your ISK is not infinite. It is no, not stronger than everybody else. That is not it, take a lot of build. Not, and that, is it not possible that every single one of the things that you just said has another more plausible explanation. It's like logic yeah, or common yeah. sense. Yeah, the Keepstar was the donation. Here. That's what that's what, what the explanation. No, what the, would the explanation the idea be? That we didn't form for the fifth Keepstar when Here's we were the, there, I and say. you guys knew we were there. That you, just I that mean, just you didn't laugh. even form for the unanchoring of your own Keepstar. Well, I'm not that saying that you're unanchoring that, that your and failure to unanchor the Keepstar has anything to do with your ISK value. I'm saying the fact that you were trying to unanchor your assets all of a sudden when you claimed that you had so many assets that you could afford to lose every single one. I think we're just trolling and then I think you're getting hammered that. like a bitch because I'm just laying out straight facts. Like no, everybody not. in this chat no, is not. laughing at you guys. No, so I, no, I do actually have been trying to get hammered up for a while, guys. So, I've been trying to say something for a while. And I keep getting okay. Dad, I'm letting I'll, Billy. I'd like to hear you. Let's let's hear. So, it. the this whole um... oh, sad. Fuck. Okay. Just a second. I I'll get back to it.
Okay, you guys I'll go, go for data. Okay. But make, make sure, you, make sure remember, you interrupt the entire the conversation money, okay? to non-talk. <laughs> is that is that the real enemy here, the real person with the bottomless wallet is fraternity. Did you know that 10% of all of the bounding, uh, the ratting bounties in the entirety of EVE, 10% of them alone come from Owasa? Because they're didn't the only they, ones ratting, dude. get hit with a ban wave, though? Okay, guys, what I remember what when... this now. When you're in, uh, I remember what it was. But now. Jeremy, you're supporting them as brave. You are. What I really have as a question to the right viewers, next. really, more than anything else, is the rich people in Eve. Do did they get rich by giving all of their assets to their alliance, or did their alliance get rich off of them already while they were obtaining their own assets? And the fact of the matter is, the alliance has already gotten rich off of that player. So that player has no obligation then to pay money back into the alliance and now goon swarm being said alliance in this scenario is at that tipping point of they may completely collapse yes you guys may come back i i i hope you try really hard and you may come back but do you really think that the rich guys in eve that wanted to get rich in eve are going to give you all of their money and become the poor in eve like when we're, we're going through this this stuff right now to then have the alliance fail and not have any way of getting that isk back to them. Hey, Data, I appreciate your uh, your question. Um, well, first of all, it really depends uh, depending on the entity. Uh, for example, Goon Swarm. Goon Swarm uh, invested a, a heavy amount of isk into their infrastructure, allowing all of the line members and their um, affiliates to um, to really prosper in the area of Delve and Fountain. They really developed a lot of. Uh, wallet strength as a line member this is not this is not an alliance level thing this is a line member thing line members got really wealthy just based off of the infrastructural and the foundation that uh the imperium established for their members versus like test who rents out ttt and has brave support them and defend them yet shares nothing are you bringing up you again? Now, 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 before we go into the the spin well, stuff, let me let me, me be. Sure. Did, did, did you notice the the subtle di, di, you know diversion from diversion the topic there? Spin, maybe instead the of actually is, answering the what does the rich guy do with his money question? Maybe the the real rich guy was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> no, right. really. no, the real is no, the, the real is the, real. the friendship. No, guys. the real the war bonds. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. There is an audio version of the war bonds, and that is the uh, Gundor email that was sent out a few months ago. That was the original war bonds, where they asked members to donate. Uh, That's you know, not what was in the email. Rich, and such. Jesus Rich, can you can you please screenshot that and provide email? it to the chat? I would yes, I have it. the email. Well, they encourage members to donate their ships if they can't participate. They the promise that they will be paid back, back after the war is over. Us. Is that not a, the equivalent of a bond? No. Yeah. We know because there's no interest. They don't get any benefit for it. If they survive, they get their asset back. If that's they call, don't, that's called that. a zero percent interest bond or a zero percent interest loan, right? It's called a gift. But regardless, the point is. We, we, oh, so uh, all those people that you promised you give them their stuff back is just a gift. I don't know anybody who was promised anything, Billy. I didn't promise anybody anything. Yeah, I'm I didn't. Sorry, I'm sorry, Happy. Anybody any promised back, with back, 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 members? Back, 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 I saw and the rest of the guys back, donate back, back, stuff. Back. Yes. Listen. Here is the thing. It is beyond frustrating to me that we are still talking about the goons are poor narrative that started six months ago. Wasn't true then. It's still not true now. This war is not going to be you, though. It's not goons it's are not, poor. It's goons aren't as rich as you think. It doesn't matter. That, well, say it? the right words then, you idiot. It, say the right it, fucking words. He's got a straw man because he can't win the argument otherwise. Say Holy the right shit. words. Y'all have literally with, fucking with, established that your flat brains and are anything okay. not the economy. We, and we, we us, speak, you're calling us speak. idiots. That I don't that know way. how rich you think we are, but what I'm telling you is if you are trying to make the argument that we are unanchoring structures because we're poor, that's obviously not true. If okay. you're making the I argument would, that I we are make... going to sell war bonds when when Mitten specifically said we were not doing that, that is not true. So if you are making the argument that all of a sudden that that nobody in Goons is going to give the alliance any isk or do any of that kind of stuff because we have no we have, we made our money, we have no allegiance to the group. Why would we help the group if it needed help? That's also not true. 
Congrats, you're yeah. correct. Those are all straw mans. None of those are things. They're, not, they're literally things. So the, the telling... spot no, in, none in of a those war. Are... Can, 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 can some of the viewers go back and clip and anybody find me saying a single thing Bruce just said? I was talking find... about Data's point, not yours, Billy. But then you were yelling people at me. on the show talking, you know, right? Yeah, Billy, but you're arguing with me. You, you're you're Billy. I'm arguing you know, with the group. Okay, I Bill and I are the only ones here on our side, and we're trying Dominar's to explain here. to you guys. And you're all right, I didn't. All right, Dom's here still. There's Listen, three of the us cool on the side. Goes, we you all just go. Want to go? Tell Don you know, the post. I Tell made Don. a really good Reddit post a while ago when this war started, reevaluating the Delve time unit and all that. And here's um here's the non-spin version. I'm gonna I'm gonna counterbalance the Billy spin and the Brisk spin. And here's what I think is going to happen when we counterbalance those spins. It's that goons are concerned about the amount of money they're pumping into structures, and they want to minimize their losses uh, with the upcoming changes to make sure that their wall is going to stay fit and fat enough for the war to keep raging on, just like Brave is doing, just like Test is doing, just like every other alliance in the game is doing. So, Jeremy, you have a, you have a, a somewhat... Um in the ballpark type of uh, ideology there. What Jeremy said is is pretty, I think, pretty fair. Yes. There's a I think significant... everybody is, everybody's worried about income generation moving forward. Everybody is looking at all these nerfs and all these changes being coming in. And whether you're a line member or whether you're an alliance leadership, you're sitting there wondering, okay, what's this impact going to have on me? And am I going to have enough money to keep this war going for the next six or seven months, however long it takes? We've already been in the war for six months. We've 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 seen almost seventy trillion isk worth of assets destroyed. Everybody is making sure that they can go for the long haul because nobody wants to lose this war because they run out of money. That's, yeah, that's uh, bottom line. And I don't think that's going to be the fact. Been bought at the beginning of the war, though. So no, they shouldn't because no, this is absolutely no. not. But to beef this up was, your, uh, yeah, to beef up. No, your we don't need before. to beef anything up. In fact, I think the whole reason why we wouldn't do that at the war is exactly because of what you guys are trying to pull now. If we had started selling war bonds at the beginning of the war, you would have said, oh, my God, they're out of money. Yeah, can I right. just say That's something true, on that, though? though. So, so just one sec, though. So you're right, right? You can't say you want to sell war bonds at the start because it admits you're having you know, financial issues, right? So the fact that you're talking about them now, is there any possibility that that might, in fact, just mean exactly what you think it would mean at the start of the war? Well, hold if on here. It did. I would expect that it would have been couched in a way that was a lot less. This is our absolute last resort, but we've done this before. There's rather than in this was the chat. absolute last resort. I love my resort. So, guys, here's the thing. Get it, get it. One more thing. One more thing. And then I'll let Dom go. You guys act like the fact that Mittens brought this up on a fireside is somehow indicative of something. We do firesides every week. We do a meta show every week. We talk about different things that people care about every single week. This wasn't a state of the alliance. This wasn't some kind of big announcement. It was a regular sit down Saturday afternoon. We do this every week, no matter what, come hell or high water. It wasn't a big deal. The fact that you're turning it into a big deal, I, it just makes me laugh because it's like, guys, if this was a big deal and well, we really were broke and we needed money, it would so not have happened on a fireside. Here's the reason it's turned into a big deal, Brisk, is because on the very same show that you talk about on the meta show, that it's just a, you know, it's just a once a week show, uh, you also went on there and said essentially that Brave is poor and struggling because uh, Kigali made a post that said that they could need ISK donations, which is essentially the same thing as you guys saying you could sell war bonds. And I'm sorry, when I say you guys, I don't mean you specifically, because I understand and respect that you're not leadership in goons. And I want to make sure everybody knows that I understand and respect that. But when I say you guys, I mean Imperium in general. It's okay. the exact same thing. And the it's fact not. that and here's why uh, it's it, not. it is, and here's no, why let me you're wrong. Why it's not. Let me finish let, what I'm saying, the and then you can, thing. and then you can explain whatever you want after I explain what I'm okay. saying, right? So it's the same exact thing because it's somebody saying, "Hey, we might need to do this. Prepare for it." Just like, "Hey, we might need to sell war bonds. Prepare for it." Okay. So you turn that around, and then on the very same fireside where you're talking about how you might need to do war bonds, you're essentially saying. You know, 
don't shit talk our enemies for potentially being broke unless they're test because fuck test so again on the back end it's one of those things where you're just feeding like matani's just feeding the line members you know streams of bullshit and then he's he's putting on another face for the meta show like oh we're all broke merkel chin stealing my speech and everything all on the same show Okay, are you, are you a, wearing a full white um, armor uniform right now? <laughs> are you calling me a white knight? Is that what you're calling me? I am a warrior for truth, Bill. A warrior for truth. So why can't right, it just be for fun? So, so why can't well, it actually, just be hold on a sec. No, no, no. The parody no, of World War II actions for the United right. States okay, of fine. America did you war bonds. To me, I think the war bonds is a good idea. For people who can't participate in the war because they just don't like PvP or they don't, they're not good at it or whatever, it gives them an ability to participate and contribute to the war effort, right? I don't ever do PvP fleets, but hey, I'd like to help out. Maybe I could buy war bonds. That's not a bad idea. Now, did it get it's ruined now because of the fucking drama? But when I first heard it, I thought it was a joke. So was, that's kind of a funny parody. He's because the United States has done war bonds in the past, and you know, it's a thing. It, 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 back then it was for, for liquid cash, like somebody said in chat. It was also for building up people's um, you know, their patriotism toward the war that's that's a big that's a big part of war bonds otherwise you just call them fucking bonds you know so there's there's a lot of reasons to do it it's too late now but and it's not a bad idea like it's not a bad idea to do war bonds like an incredible idea to immediately assume though that everybody's broke because you're doing that is a wrong assumption because there's so many reasons to do war bonds other than the point that i wanted to make before was listen we are not going around hyping up the fact that, or even if it's not true, that Brave is broke. We're not saying that. Mitten said one time that our enemies are having money problems, and he referenced the Brave Kigali thing, but we did not spend any time on the show talking about it. It was not a segment. We didn't post anything on Reddit. There hasn't been a single other thing. And in fact, he went out of his way to tell everybody, do not shit talk anybody who is running out of money in the war. Correct. In so, public. So, so, but not in private. It, but it, but publicly, that's where all this stuff is happening. You don't see us d- doing a forty-five minute segment on the Meta Show talking about how broke everyone is. We haven't done uh, so that. You're just, this is your just redirection. This is what this show. This is what this show. This is what this show. How broke been, wreck was. There has not been forty freaking posts on Reddit. You didn't find it over interesting over the last enough. three days making jokes about you war bonds. You didn't find it interesting. No, no, that's, that's good. It, that's fine. It's not your version of fun. It's not your version of fun. Okay. Rundle, that's not fun. true. If it was, if it was funny, if we could make a good propaganda See? joke about yeah. it, we would do it. But we're not doing that. There's another I mean, possibility because you, can, because you can't, right? Like, okay, that's, but we can. A good point. I can no, you can't. Okay. You're, so, you're well, having too much fun. Trust, trust me. Brave. Trust me. We could Brave. have so much fun with it. We have an entire group, a sig that's designed to do funny propaganda. You don't think we could make jokes about? You mean like Reddit propaganda? All right, so, no, so I am curious, oh, though, guys. Billy, you need to calm like, down. You guys have done a lot of crap talk about Wreck in particular being so broke, but Wreck hasn't even bothered with, hey, guys, we may need to do a war bond. We're like, oh, hey, guys, uh, those ADMs, so just kind mind. of focus on those a little bit more again. But you guys are all, all about, money. oh, we have but, killed you guys. You guys are broke now. Wreck is broke. We we aren't even as money. big as we we are, are, not as big as 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 We're not <laughs> needing more <laughs> bonds, guys, 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 but it's oh, oh, here's where I'm totally <laughs> confused. Here's where I'm Dominar, totally confused. Dominar. For Dominar. weeks, I gotta for weeks. Correct. Okay. Right, let let so, I gotta go. correct one thing that you said, Dominar, and it's the you said that war bonds are issued for varying things. I can tell you for a fact, no war bond in history, in the history of war bonds, there's been since World War One, World War Two. We're talking about Austria, Hungary, Canada, whoever the fuck. No one has ever issued war bonds for any other reason than they need money. They have That's a thousand percent not true. Go I've off. got no, some. It is. That's absolutely not true. I've got one from World War II. There are in an envelope that it's all about payments. There are like varying effects that You're happen wrong. off of issue, issuing war bonds. But the main and prevailing cause of issuing war bonds is because you want money. You can argue, yeah, yes, they do increase yeah. patriotism because, oh, look, I'm giving fucking money to this cause. But no, the main issue and the main reason. Did I say that was the main reason you do it? Is no, you, I said there are other reasons. Why are you trying to imply it? Because you implied it for like 30 for fucking reasons. seconds about how there's other reasons for doing <laughs> Hold it. Hold on, motherfucker. Me. I'm about to counter wiki this shit. 
Give me a second. Uh, 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 it's you another can whole idea. If, if I've been idea putting it in is, chat. It's in chat. If the idea right is that selling war bonds means you're broke, and if you're broke, you lose the war, then obviously we know in the past from historical fact that people sell war bonds and then they win wars. So hey. the whole idea that, that, that that's somehow an indicator of weakness as if they can the point that successfully Dominar's sell making. them, though. Look, I don't. Okay, well, look. Yeah, can, well, I just, obviously. can I just say something? I don't. Th it's not a sign of weakness. Okay. I, I, other people are trying to say that it is. It's not. What my point was, Redline kind of took it because he spoke first. But my point was, the timing of it is a little unfortunate given the coverage that you guys had on the Meta Show and the Not a Soda brave not a soda thing going on saying like you know we need some money and the requiem thing where the meta show also kind of forecasted or showed that requiem eternal was a canary in a coal mine for the economic changes and all this other shit i might have if i was in charge of shit and like don't take this like i should be i'm just saying had i been i may have waited a let a little bit more time go by before i started mentioning war bonds that's that's basically i think what a lot of people in this channel are actually trying to say Here's where yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm my confusion. I'm gonna jump on confusion. Bundle, so, I like what you're saying, but um, Taylor Swift, just hold on a second, me. okay? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna break it down real quick. All right, it is real simple, real simple, okay? Uh, war bonds are, are fucking like a, a venture, like a, a fundraising, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like, it's literally there is there is an existential expense in the path of literally every entity that is involved with this war right now. It, and in order to offset that and maintain the, the standard um, accounting involved with like your SRP and your standard operations of, of the wartime um, bullshit, uh, it's best that you, you take care of that offset with some sort of external funding that is outside the normal accounting. If you so do that's a that, great point, Bill. But here's what I want. To, here's where I'm confused. Wendell, where I'm confused I'm is that you know Brisk Whatever, constantly you, says he's a line member. You constantly say you're a line member. You know, so um, and they don't have insight into really what's going on, right? So why do you believe that you're not being lied to as well, right? Maybe you're just as as much out of the loop as all of us, and you don't really know what's going on. Yet you come on this show and you're constantly saying, "No, this is not what we're saying. This is what we're saying." No, we're going to argue with you. That's not the point. Here's the real point. But, you know, like, just go back seven days. I don't know anything. I'm just a line member. I don't know shit. So, you know, it's just bullshit that you guys come up with. It's just simple bullshit. Right. Rundle, Rundle, I am Rundle. the web Rundle. spinner. So, let me talk. So Brisk, so Brisk runs the meta show with Matani, right? And you, I get it. Matani is CEO, exec, et cetera, of Goonstorm Federation of the Imperium. But Brisk is just a line member, and he goes on the show. He presses the buttons to run a stream because it's a lot harder than people think, and he talks. So when people sit here and they say, the Matani on the meta show, or the meta show said X, you're also looping Brisk in with that. So that is why Brisk comes on and defends himself. And then he also does the responsible thing of going back and watching it and listening to it and saying, no, here's exactly what was said because I've had the same bullshit done to me. Everyone here has had the same bullshit done to them where they'll say something like, hey, guys, two plus two is four. And someone's like, well, Rain, you implied two plus three equals five because you said two plus two equals four. And you're like, well, wait a minute. All I said was two plus two equals four. And so it becomes a stupid bullshit spin. And that is why Brisk comes here and speaks on things. Yes, he is a line member, but he is also on streams and on these shows. So therefore, he has to speak to that as well. Rain is a thousand percent correct. Listen, here is the deal. Okay. Bill just has a great voice. I'd love to hear him. Talk, I am a, so. Bill, exactly. Who doesn't want to listen to Bill? I am a line member. Yes. Okay. But I am also on these shows. I'm on the CSM. I am constantly talking to people because they talk to me. And because I need to collect information because I'm trying to put out a product that people want to watch. So I have to be in the know on this stuff. So I listen to all the firesides. I read all the Reddit posts. I read all the Evo forum posts. I see all the intel that we get that is shared with me. And that's not everything, obviously, but I get some of it. And I do my best to try to put together stuff and to correct the record when it's wrong. Like, you don't hear me and see me in here spinning anything about Pittsburgh stealing the Keepstar because that was a beautiful op. Good job. Whoa, Brisk. Whoa, Brisk. That yeah, was led anything, by Olmeca. Anything, that was an Olmeca operation, and Pittsburgh knows that. If anything, don't even, I have to no, give him credit no, no, for breaking no. Quirius George out of jail so he could push the on-anchor button and give him the keep star. I give him credit. Bill, for that. tell me about But the point is, I'm not, I'm, I'm here, but I, I go back and I listen to this stuff. So when I say 
you know, Matani never said on the fireside we were going to sell war bonds. It's not because I have some kind of inside information. It's because I did the fucking math. I listened to the thing twice to go over. It's, is there any inference in here that he could possibly be be saying that they're going to do war bonds imminently? And when there's multiple contradictions of that, then I'm going to say, hey, guys, eh, we're not selling war bonds. So why are we talking about it for 45 minutes? I just want to know one thing. I think people are are dumb for even making this thing. Oh, we came up with war bonds, but offset and uh, and unaccounted for, uh, I mean, not necessarily unaccounted, but technically unaccounted, a massive amount of an an expenditure. I just want to know why. Everybody's like, oh, fuck. So can we we, uh, straighten up the... Straighten up the air for as well I think with this whole money and assets and, and ISK value right, and whether they're going to break, together, right? Today, dude. Because the Meta Show loves their new spin of Wreck is Crumbling. They're, that's their new thing. They have broke Wreck. That is their hoorah, so, right? I'm going to be but, honest with you. Wreck was like two weeks ago. You guys are fine. We're, we're, no, I know. I know we are, but we are they are about. still saying that we're not and that they did they some no, big financial blow. I think everybody has forgotten, <laughs> everybody has no, forgotten about you guys. You had your 15 minutes of fame, yeah. and now you're forgotten. I, I, I watched the Meta Show, and I haven't heard anything about Rex since it happened. I mean, it's trying it so hard to coast, coast with the momentum. During keep the, no, it was spoken about during the, the fucking Meta Show. Like, I was there. I listened to it. I'm listening to all of it. Well, it's all enjoyable for me. It's content. If you can find that clip, then more power to you. But I, I specifically did not hear anything about uh, Wreck. And that's okay. Wreck. Is Wreck the, the group fine. that brought a forty-man gang to come kill my elite solo PvP Praxis? I think it is. Okay. I think so. We do have live confirmation in the Twitch chat uh, that Brisk Ball is selling war bonds. If you send him your isk, he will double it and send you a pretty piece of paper with the word words war bond on it now, i'm totally gonna do it i'm gonna tell you that it's amazing as a host of trash talk tuesday i see that deal as the most legitimate and upstanding deal that you can find it's much better than the bullshit you hear in Gita local it's a fantastic deal the best deal i've ever seen and you should definitely take it i'm sending it my one million it's right now one million now, that was actually like a really decent impression that, that's actually good Thanks. That being Hi. said, we are going to move on to the next topic of the evening because I've brought Pittsburgh 2989, the shittiest FC of the USTZ Whoa. Uh, group. Whoa. Oh my god. I mean, I'm sorry, Ooh. shiftiest, not shittiest, shiftiest. Man. Oh, did I say wow. shittiest? I'm so sorry. I meant to say shiftiest. I meant to say I meant to say the most clever and beautiful, and also the literal trash of the. I mean, God, I can't stop. Anyways, I have Pittsburgh here. Um, Pittsburgh, you stole the Keepstar from K Tech Six. <coughs> oh, did. Didn't you? Uh, yes, as Bill said, uh, Omaka did. Um, uh, but no, it was. Actually, Bob FC uh, and then Tits, the fastest freighter in the world, managed to scoop it. And you can read all about it on uh, the new Eden Post.com on the article I wrote. The newest uh, CCP sponsored blog site. <laughs> Shameless plugs. <laughs> we wrote I, prefer, I prefer words versus like, How close was that book, heist? Um... Our article. It wasn't even close Our... at all. Like, they... Not even close at all. Have you no, seen actually. Video? Actually, it was really fucking close, except that they dread bombed me so goddamn hard that I couldn't even lock the fucking chair on. I would have insta blapped it, but they like you my overview. Did, like, I heard the shot on the shield. You did twenty five percent damage. I didn't even hit shields, it, dude. Like I had, I had like I mean, some, somebody, alpha. somebody, gra- somebody grazed it or something. Is what I'm saying. Like that's basically Bill, what happened to that. Before player. we tell the story, you got to tell me why you were that shit. Okay, so I was um, there was a there was a uh, there's this place called PR Tech HCA, and um, there's a beautiful uh, little beach house that I used to visit, and um, you know I, I had stored a little stuff, you know I had an ATV there, a uh, little golf cart, you know, giant bowl some other of shit, Kool-Aid. and uh, Sager, shut the fuck up, and um, 
So then some fucking assholes came and started kicking it and then caught it on fire. And I had to run in and grab my shit and get it out of there before it all burned down. And so I put it in the back of my Toyota Camry and um, drove on out. And then I forgot that the shit was still in the Toyota Camry and um, started uh, trying to meme shit. Okay, and, so um, why are we talking about Toyota Camrys in the context of EVE Online? Well, yeah. Okay, well, Red Line, Toyota back. Camry is an analogy for the Phoenix Dread, not that was lost. Then you okay. the Wait, Bill the Boss is the Toyota Camry of elite players Toyota? in the Federation. It's the rusted Toyota. The, Toyota. The what kind of Camry? Well, the Toyota Camry, meant, dude. Who was meant to you? be scooping that keep star? Uh, on Wait, the then what's Imperium the freighter? Is it like a like a Ram truck? No, it's like the uh, Volkswagen van from like the seventies. Nice. Yeah, Those but the van really hard. couldn't. That was a nice so. Van. And he would have so, gotten away for it too if it wasn't. So I'm really mad. Yeah, there's there's a magazine there that had. Meddling in the has some so kill here's marks the story okay so here's the story um so basically what it is is that the keep star was noticed that it was unanchored and um and somebody scooped it the fastest freighter in the south scooped it the thing is though is that um what's more interesting about the freighter scoop and and brisk you're more than welcome to jump back in here and bill you're more than welcome to jump back in here anytime is that the first thing that the Matani says about it is that uh, it could be CCP's fuck up that the Keepstar actually ended up on anchoring. Um, That's not what he said. Okay, I'll, I'll read it entirely. This is entirely our dumb fuck up and or entirely CCP's Wait. fuck up, but it's what a fuck up regardless, half? and there's okay. no reason, there's no way or reason to spend that. So Those correct. are the exact words. Our fuck up our fuck up and it was and as far or, as I'm concerned, i have seen nothing that indicates that there was anything wrong that this was simply somebody writing down the wrong date and it got and it got scooped so good and job or, and or no. and or and why did he add the and or ccp then i mean to be honest there's a lot of shit you can blame ccp on right now i've lost so many goddamn pods because they won't fucking jump through a gate right now oh i've had that some bullshit. But it's like... some of the some of the messages in like uh I don't know if it was Elysium or Kremlin that I'm getting this from. Um some of the messages are just they're funny. Like someone was asking if the one DQ attack was just a psyop. <laughs> and I saw Bob make a joke that it had been planned for a year in advance. Um but there were actually people here, you know, either blaming the like a downtime or something, an emergency downtime that caused the caused the game to skip a day or something like that. Um, but Guys, it definitely wasn't that, right? You're, you're trying too hard. Okay, no, so, it, no it was I'm just saying move. it wasn't that, right? It was a good move, Pittsburgh and and Omeka. I, I didn't know Omeka had anything to do with it. I thought he quit. yeah, he he led but, the fleet. But it's, uh, it's a meme from Bit. Omeka didn't. All right, all right, good. I'm giving Pittsburgh credit. It was a good move, you guys. Got in there, you scooped it. I think, frankly, so far, this is what the third time you guys have scooped a Keepstar we've been trying to unanchor. So, congratulations. The real I'm question comes in why you are unanchoring that Keepstar. That's the um, real question here. Why is There's that a no question? real question. It's not a question. They explained it in the chat logs. I didn't put the chat logs in the article, but basically, what it was is that they've been unanchoring that Keepstar uh, for like the last month or so, just like oh. on a on a timer. Like every week, they cancel it and start the cycle again as just like a a juicy carrot at the end of a stick, which we'll get to. Cause there are no carrots in EVE Online. <clears throat> Thanks, Merkel Chin, fucker, stealing my speech. Merkel Chan. Anyways, <laughs> that's 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 what that was, and oh. it just somebody just missed the somebody just missed the window, and it actually unanchored. Um, I mean, it's, it's I'm literally gonna be honest. honest. What happened to Mercenary Coalition three years ago? I didn't so, even realize that there was a Keepstar in KTAC 6 until like a week or two ago when I was flying through. So, but then somebody says, uh, somebody I says in the chat log, did we fuck something up? And then he also says, he says, we did, didn't we? And then <laughs> Asher says, we did or CCP did. We don't know which right now. 
So, I mean, I'm not going to keep harping on that. If if the line right now is that that definitely was a goon fuck up, then I'm cool with that because that's all I wanted to bring out is because I don't want somebody to go on a talk show and say, ah, CCP killed our war like they did back in Tribute and Veil vale when I don't, I don't the see, were coming. I, I don't think oh it's God, likely right, that that's the case. But, Wait, they, but look, I want to argue this point. They did go the go. fucking war back then and so, the Tribute and Veil vale bullshit. I had my entire did. industrial fucking complex reft into hole because of those goddamn fucking... You guys were whatever, leaving that war were. already. You guys were already leaving Tribute. No, I was moving in, bro. I had Everybody my buddy and their mother oh, know you up. were looking for an excuse to leave, and you took it the, the most fucking like the 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 rats rewriting re of history on this is like one of the funniest things ever. You guys really? left because rats were being mean to How much did it cost the DHL that fucking Oracle ball that you, you glare into all the time? I want to use it. <laughs> that Oracle ball. <laughs> well, at the time, Test was still allied and had some level of communication with Imperium leadership, and Leaks. Imperium leadership had expressed their desire to leave the war at least a month before this happened. Well, that's just what you heard. <laughs> but, but this is the thing. Even if, even if that's even if that is true, it makes perfect sense that when there's an outside stress that we weren't prepared for, that we weren't sure what the deal is, that we pull back. That makes perfect sense to me. I don't I don't see why that's not in line with the reality. You know. Well, good. Perfect. Well, so it then, makes perfect sense. Planning, don't get me wrong. Like it was a great if reason. To pull back. You, if but you pretending that you guys were going to stay in tribute for another five months and that you only went back because of who you knows, know the drifters. No one knows what would have happened if the drifters did not show up. So we can all. But we can make a it. educated guess that about ninety five percent of the time speculation. You go anyways, it's all speculation. We don't know that. No, so there's no point of even talking about the shit. We already know everything in the future. Anyway. Speculation, honestly. And so, the but same we do talk about the future, so let's talk the about same, the future. Uh, but the same thing with the. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not the future. This is an alternative yeah. reality, alternative past, where what would have happened if the if the drifters didn't show up? But regardless, the whole thing about about the CCP fuck up. Look, if if you are the one responsible, and you said, "Hey, I set this for X," and you fucked it up. The first thing you're going to say is, well, I thought I did this. I'm pretty sure I did this. It's not outside the realm of possibility that somebody, that there could be a bug. So you're going to say, I, I thought I did it right. But regardless, as far as I can tell, it was just a fuck up. It happens. It's happened before. You know, I, dude, I remember MC wear, going around with stickers wearing, dude, where's my Keepstar uh, at Vegas the year after that happened? I guess 2018, I guess two years ago. It was funny. See, if it's not I a big deal, then funny. we won't, we won't make, make a big deal about of, it. I'm going to make lots of jokes about it on the Meta Show on Saturday, on the Frank segment, because it's funny. Can I just say, so, you guys You guys need to get Merkel Chen is... You guys need to get Merkel Chen his own fucking segment on that show or on another show or on Sunday. I tried to get him to do the weather, but he, he didn't want to do the Can weather. Can we get him on this fucking show? Because he's fucking amazing, dude. That was the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard on dude, the that's Meta Show. It was great. That's why we like him. That's his why camera he, needs to be bigger. He's great. He just you just Ed. need to full screen Merc and just tell him yes. to smile a little bit. Just like that little half smile that Merc does, where you can just barely see his teeth through his lips and he's got his mustache there and he's just like chuckle fucks. That is all I need forever. Yeah, we gotta get the suit though. You gotta get the suit. This took a turn. This took I'll a make turn. A weird red line. We I mean, to I'm, trying to, I'm trying so, to make you guys yeah. not fight, okay? Mummy and Daddy are fighting, and Loki's getting very uncomfortable. So I'm just trying to make peace here for a and second. You guys can go now. back to murdering each other in about 10 seconds. Thank you. Bill drinks the Kool Aid. Here we go. Yeah. Before Let's you guys murder each other, can I, can I throw something out there? So the whole thing with the. Uh, fuck, what was it? Dude, Dude you if, you, if you want to throw something out there and you don't even know what we're talking about, Riker. We're going to have to have a conversation. I wanted to say something since the beginning of the show, and by this time I've forgotten. Okay. <laughs> well, Do you ever not write shit down? You could write stuff down I on I mean, we can wait until you, there's something else that you want to say. You can just be like, hey, 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 I want to say this thing, and then we'll let you say it. I promise. Um, I'm going to hold you to it, Redline. Great. But in the meantime, so it doesn't seem like this is too big of a deal as far as... Um, the fact that this is just a, a troll unanchoring that 
was scooped up. It is kind of a big deal because it's, you know, one less keep star we have to kill. Um, and one less keep star that the Imperium has to core, which is pretty cool. But we don't really have to focus too much on that if we don't want to. That was actually a horde keep star, by the way. Okay, so <laughs> now we're gonna focus on it some more. Because no, it wasn't. It never Are was. Sure? Are you positive? Stop lying. Stop lying. And it never know? will be. Because How that keep star is in Pittsburgh. Like Pittsburgh right got now. it, not you. There you go. How do you know if Pittsburgh's not gonna give it to Horde? He's not gonna Pittsburgh give it to Horde. It back to to I'm what pretty sure we will see that keep star again soon. We're gonna anchor it in one D one D Q one A, motherfuckers. Now no, if I wanted to spin, what I would say oh, is come on. Test is so poor that the only way they can anchor keep stars is in Delve is if they steal them from goons. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, would, be, that would be that would be no, really Chris, well spent. Would... Z and just go watching in there. It's like Test is like the fucking wishing well willies, where it's like the homeless people at the ball where they go jump into wishing well and try to grab as many pennies as they can before the mall security kicks them out because it, no one no one sees that. Why are you wow. making fun of poor people? What a privileged what memory that must be. Like, why are you just like a, randomly calling people? Like, like, what a fantastic you memory. Know, actual you just just like, in, in. That was nice of you to bring your personal memories those. along into the show. That's so nice. It's, it warms my heart <laughs> hearing your personal memories. I wrote that joke I like think you just four like, months ago. And is that like the only way you can come up with a good zinger, Bill, is you write it down like six months earlier? You definitely just have like a brain fluid pressure loss there, I think. Wait, 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 hold on. You guys don't prepare for the show? Because I write no. down my jokes every night before we go live. Yeah, me and Redline go back here for four or five I've hours. literally ad-libbed everything I've ever fucking said on this piece of shit show. I love this show, by the way. It's a great show. I, I mean, mean, I drink before I, I come mean, on I mean, even professional show. comedians do this. Jerry Seinfeld, you know, he's got a booklet by the side of his bed. He thinks of a... What is it with you and Jerry Seinfeld? I, I watch this show. <laughs> I enjoy this show. What's, what's wrong with you? Holy shit. Rich is like the <laughs> oldest, <laughs> youngest... <laughs> British person I've ever met. That's amazing. No, but yeah, he has oh, the side of his bed. He wakes up in the middle of the night, a funny joke, or thinks of something. He writes that shit down. That's what professional Wait, comedians do. Dude, dude, if you if you like Seinfeld that much, you should also check out Curb Your Enthusiasm. I think you'll that dude, they have a similar humor. Okay, I have. Good. Writers, are I got I got your show name for you by the way. If you're right, it's Dudes in Spaceships Getting Coffee. That's going to be for you, Rich Richmond mm -hmm. with Rich Richmond. Dudes in spaceships getting coffee. So it's British. Or a tea. Ah, even better. Okay, yeah, I like the idea. God, sounds so the noise. There's a couple people. Did. There's a couple couple people in the chat that are talking about some things that I kind of want to address. Um, one person says, "I've learned nothing from this show again. What a shame." Good. We don't want um, <laughs> that. Then. I apologize. Um, I don't know what you would like to learn from us, but if you have questions, we'll happily answer them for you. Um, Directly, I think Hello? he thinks. I think he thinks we're like some some kind of weird extension of like Eve University or something. Um, we are not, sir. And then Crimson Samus says that they can't really follow what the point of this is. Um, and to that, I just really would like to say same. Um, but that's. I mean, this is this is how it goes every Tuesday. Uh, we kind of just do our our thing, and um. And then uh, it just happens. Um, and yes, so you're super new. So this is both sides of the war. The the guys that are yelling at each other, um, they're on opposite sides of a giant war in Nullsec called World War B2. If you ever hear a show on Twitch, call it World War B, they are definitely not the show you want to be watching. The only people that call it World War B are the people early. that already lost World War B. It's funny because you said it earlier, and I was about to give you credit for that, and now you're going back. So when did I say that? that? Today? You said at the beginning. Yes, go. Back. Somebody oh. go back and clip what Redline said. He said World War B. It really did. Dude, it's called like, Vietnam. Vietnam. It's like, it's like the now first. That is. Hello, I, I will Vietnam. say, Rain's been trying to make this happen for a while, and I kind of, I kind of dig it. I'll be uh, honest. It's, uh, 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 um, it's basically the first two I'm years telling of, you. of Redline's goon indoctrination kicking, and you guys like Manchurian candidated them into uh, into this bullshit. Well, for the kind viewers who are concerned about the educational part of the program, this is where I will I will educate you, and Shut I will up, tell Rich. you that with the new ESS changes, I'm We're curious to what yet. will happen. 
We're not there. I yet. actually just wrote about this. On We're the not newest, there yet. New Eden Post article. <laughs> you also <laughs> cried on Reddit. And, no, actually, actually, okay. I have a literally an intelligent wall shilling, opposition. Shilling the website is cool, but we're not there yet, guys. We have we have topics. LB, how do you get them to stick to the show notes? How do it you do happen. it? it Are you crazy? We never. It never happens. So here's here's one thing. I just remember what I was going to say. Um, did you? Yes, I actually did. So one of the th- so people keep saying, "Oh, well, goons talked about possibly selling war bonds." Means well, back on this they oh, dear, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did we talk about the drone changes? That's what I want to talk about, you gentlemen, right now. We're not. Is the drones? And right we're not now. talking the about drones. It we're still There's a drone talking. Flying we're over still Phil's talking house. about the same stuff we were talking about a Listen, second ago. Yeah, I think if you go in the, if you, in a pot. If you go into T5Z and watch one DQ, so the wacky. wishing well willy joke will stick with you. I promise you. It'll okay. make sense. If you cook. go into T5Z, like right now, you can watch goon structures being destroyed. It's a beautiful sight. You're we encourage all children to come watch. There. Even Bill. So, so just but, because uh, someone makes a plan to do something doesn't mean they're going to do it. People make plans all the time. It's called contingency plans. Are you, like, still okay, thank an you. hour behind? That was my Thank whole you. point. Okay, that's that's fair. We cool. All right, awesome. So, um, back on the Keepstar. So I think I think we're actually done with that. So Vili says we're gonna see that Keepstar pretty soon. Um, <laughs> probably not gonna be a fight over it if we do see it again pretty soon. Pretty. Well, standard. I mean, we've went from forty-eight Keepstars to forty-seven, and you know, I I I was really curious to know which Keepstar the Imperium folks thinks will die next. Ooh, um, I know. Can I answer? Am yes, I allowed to answer? Please provide, uh, provide Hicks, your right? Uh, the one in pure blonde, right? Period basis. Is it our oh, period basis? Whatever one that is. The Hex oh one. shit! Okay, okay. yeah, I had a fucking high grade uh, slave set there. I need to go. What's the jump go- that out? What's the goon swarm clock? The doom clock is that clock dot app dot? What is that? Yeah, clock goons warm something. It, it, unfortunately, they haven't updated because K six is still up there. Yeah, Insane. shame about that. So, what is the next heap star to die? Do you wanna do you wanna put it out there, Billy? I think it's the one in Detect P nine P, right? It'll be Hicks. I mean, obviously. So. And do you think that they're gonna contest it at all? Why would we? I would. Yeah, why would an alliance ever defend their own keeps? Where is this? Because it's not in Delve. Why would we? Busy putting together together war bond plans. They don't got time to defend a a keep star. Come on. It worked for darkness, dude. Do the math. They defended zero of their keep stars, and they're currently a thriving alliance in the game. Valuable. So okay, now then the interesting question becomes: When Null hits Sov three, do you think they'll defend Null? Well, it's not in so It's not in E3O. It's not in the E3O I pocket, or it's not in One DQ. That's true. That's when One DQ hits off three, are they gonna defend it? Well, it's not in the E3O I pocket. If you can't rat in the system, goons don't care about it. Damn. Well, that's a little spinny, though. That's. that's I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself talking to each other. It's kind of yeah, fun. We, we are. It's what we do. We always do. How much? Do, it's a talk show. Really? And then we talk. Right we Billy don't raise. I don't know. Raised the great point, Brisk. Why would? Like why would like the a, goons like defend like their own structure. infrastructure? Why we defend the stuff there because we, we're picking shoes on from Discord, and everybody has said, and and Mittens has said over and over again that we'll take the fights we want to win. We think we can win. We're going to take the fights we want to fight on our keep stars, and we pointed out over and over again that test is being very methodical. They they will only fight. On a keep star, if they've got a signer jammer up in the system, that's what they do. So you can but look you at the, the doom clock is perfect. Night. To be fair, that was really impromptu. You couldn't really do well, I don't know if that's, so, I'm that's all they I, mean, same I line. don't even, I don't even, I can't even. Like, you guys are not oh listening. Oh my god, we took the basic white girl and brought it's, it out of brisk ball. It's, it's okay. just bad. So an interesting question then. So obviously, yes, goons are, you know, picking their battles, they're... Um, you know, only going to try and defend the infrastructure they can. Uh, are any of the corps being reimbursed for any of the infrastructure they put up? They're losing right now. Absolutely. I just got fifty fucking billion for my KTAC six keepstar that 
just got blown or taken. I didn't even know it was there. Stop. Why are you so, I just said that 30 minutes ago. Stinger. Stop if, it. Yeah. It, stop uh, it. Tell so the if truth. you indeed did get 50 billion X, are you, are you willing to prove a screenshot to prove that? Um, no, it was like 2 billion X. But you know, <laughs> it's still more than Brave got from Test. I... Untrue. But <laughs> no, interesting, we've gotten di- interesting attempt to, uh, what do they call that? Divert or. Really uh, calm down. Pivot. Oh my God. Redirect. 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 Uh, and I think Karma Fleet's the only one that really has has their own. I guess we're the only ones that have keeps left. But what the, uh, the corpse would not expect or ask for reimbursement because they know they're not going to get it because they put the, straw, the stuff up on their own. No, I mean that, that's about, absolutely is fair. But keep in PUIG? what about that, uh, public Satio of South I don't Carolina know who, states? I don't know who has it. That one that was uh, temporarily disabled and it was a few hundred billion worth of items that were cancelled. Rich, right. I'm going to fucking introduce an abbreviation to you. It's called COI. Do you know what that stands for? Spoiler alert, cost of investment. And you know what happens whenever you invest in something that leads to a very productive and rewarding uh, long term? Well, it gets the, the uh, closed is, down by one find yourself back over and over. fishing pennies out of a well. I remember that happened a few weeks ago. I'm just trying to figure out, uh, since we're on the topic of reimbursement, were You're those people who had their structures... Understand. This is the part. This is the part. This is the part where all the insults start coming out. I love this part of the show. By the way, this is great. (laughs) Uh, I gotta say, you can't be complaining about the insults because you've thrown more insults around here. Yeah, really, Randall. Like, fuck off. Yeah, you can play a good old game. Fuck you. The shadows. The shadow state structure that was temporarily disabled. Fuck you. Were the people who lost their investments in that structure were they reimbursed? Because that was billions upon billions. Fuck you. You want to fuck on me? I fuck on you. Talk Rich, I can't answer that question. Talk Talk I do that's, not. They okay, were that's not fine. reimbursed. Oh. And so, Tell if me. I understand this correctly, then the people that invested in Goonsworm infrastructure are not being reimbursed at all, correct? Billy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't C-O fucking I. Jesus. Right, so, do, what you could say not, then, if what you could not, say then, if somebody invests in Goonsworm infrastructure, it'd almost be like a war bond that they're not getting paid back on, right? All right. Vili, do you guys Full let your, let your corporations put up structures wherever they want, Esoteri? SRP no. is a payback, okay. technically, um, along with um, the various infrastructure uh, that fills in the gaps of the of the That's structures not. that you don't necessarily have. It is, or, it is true. Like, it. You can't put up um, you can't put up Athenors in Delve. Well, I mean, we, we can now because it's kind of ours, but um, you can't put up Athenors and Delve without like buying the moon. Actually, I don't Correct. even think that you get that ch- you even put the Athenors. Because up. the moons, always, because just moons are moons are yeah. a, a well, moon. yeah. so you're saying <laughs> Athenors are a structure, and if so you're you saying put up it, Athenors, the miners then, have right, to put up the cost of the. You, you cannot put up. You can put up other types of structures. The miners have to put up the cost food. of the Athenor. They have to right, pay what, for the moon and sub. Up, I'm following the discussion. So anyways, you also, if I'm correct, you can't put up anything that's going to compete with the 1DQ Keepstar for market or like production unless you get permission. And far, as far as like Sodios and stuff like that's concerned. Um, My understanding I is seem that to recall that there... while I was in Shadow State, that was a big discussion. Because we were trying to pull together the ISK to get, uh, to pay for permission to get uh, that Sotio put down. I wish Pittsburgh was where? there. He could. Where, where were you trying to get it put down at? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't interested in that at all. But so I saw the conversation. Be, this would have been the MO tax Sotio he's talking about, I think. What I'm trying to say, Redline, is, and what I had said before, is my understanding is that corporations can put up structures. They have to ask permission, and it can't obviously has to fall within a certain set of rules. They can't put up their own keep stars unless they get approval, those types of things. But people could do that, but it was always done at your own risk. Okay. So I don't I don't know why I, I I think I think Billy's asking pointed questions because he's very smart and he's very good at doing this stuff. 
to make it seem as though <laughs> we're not reimbursing the infrastructure because we're too poor when I'm not just pointing there. out you're not reimbursing the infrastructure. That's well, so that, that says enough so on what? its own. I mean, no, what does it say on its own? So what? That means it it doesn't stay on its own. When when we have policies in place that say, yeah, you guys want to put this up, that's fine, but we're not paying for it. So the miners have to and put we're up not the spending it. Jesus yeah. fucking yeah, Christ! So Placing guys, a structure it's it's in it's space it's is an assumed risk. It is I also have, a COI that you. I have pay. a I have a after house that I have put up in high sec that I run missions out of. If it gets well, blown up, I am not going to expect in it to reimburse me. Why? Now what system that's is that? Literally, really? That's literally in high sec. That's not on your sovereign fucking space. That's, that's completely matter. beside the point. What do you I mean, think it doesn't matter, matter where it is? Of course it matters where it, matter? it is. Oh, it matter? Here's the thing, if you Chris? put something down in your oh, sovereign matter? space and you're a part of an alliance, you would expect that that alliance would come and defend your shit. Especially if you're Murchie if fucking you're industrial, I'm talking. Not... I'm talking. If Red you're Murchie line. fucking you're, industrial you're, you're, and you you're lose hundreds, hundreds of billions of hits, what do you mean? Nobody I don't even know what that means. Nobody said anything about defending. What I what I said was reimbursement because Billy said, "Are they being reimbursed?" It's not a question of defending; it's a question of reimbursement. If somebody it's goes, not even defending. I'm not going to ask in it to pay for it. But here's There's the thing: oh. I'm, I'm asking this question because for a normal corporation, you are provided safety by the alliance. That's how you why you put up structures because the alliance guarantees the safety of those structures. Everybody will will agree with that. Yeah, when you put it down your your COI, you're you're understanding the risk to do so. But when your leadership kind of tells you, "Oh yeah, we'll be able to hold every structure, we'll to protect," you know, when they create this lie and they say, "No, no, don't anarchy your structures. Everything's going to be okay." And then you start losing your structures because you waited. Because your alliance leadership told you everything really, was going to be okay, do they not bear some in, responsibility? No. Is there anybody inside? Uh, this, this is the thing. This is what frustrates me. Assumed the first risk. Is a known there is risk. no, there is nobody, and I'm aware of complaining that they lost their structures because they put them up and nobody came to defend them, and they're not getting. I can, I can actually pull logs from Spy Corp discords where they're complaining about losing their I, structures. I, Nobody's I willing to say to the boss who's going to fucking put a I bullet in the back of their it. head. Okay. Mitch, why did you let my structure die? Because they'll get fucking axed like a traitor's. Really? You know, just, just because you like just see two people out of 10,000 fucking randomly mention like, oh, shucks, There's my extra house is blown up. I There's really wish somebody would have reimbursed me. Right, there's only a hundred corpse incomes. I'm sure that there's somebody saying, "I wish I had, I wish I got reimbursement." Everybody wants reimbursement. Yeah, it's like the fucking the laws. Is, well, I'm not talking about reimbursement. I'm talking about complaining that nobody's showing up to even defend their structure. Nobody's and, even putting in an effort. Well, why didn't they put in the effort? The people complaining? they could put the effort in too, right? They are put you, the structure. Up. Are they you no fucking kidding me? So why bother being part of a, a big alliance, big uh, group, then, if no one's going to come help you? It's just completely counter to the whole point. No, you guys not. always it's tell not. about being part of you. Wait, no, there is we, are, you are, we are in the hold middle. On. Hold on. A Wait a second. Wait. Before you continue, you guys there, is no way, there is no way, there is no possible way in the history of ways that you just said maybe the corpse should put in the effort to defend the structure. When you know for a fact that the corps that put up these structures have typically less than a hundred people in them, and they are poised to, they, you want them to fight against an army of a hundred thousand people, a hundred thousand pilots? Like, Red hello, line. what Red do you line. mean? Red line. Am I? Did I hear you incorrectly? Red line. Seriously. Of course. Did, did I hear we are you wrong? War... Well, I'm explaining. Back. We are in a war of annihilation the entire rest of the game has blued itself up and said they want to destroy goons they want to destroy the imperium they want to split in and off from goons they want to split goons up they want to make it impossible for the for the goons to have any impact on the game moving forward at all as a group okay so do you honestly think faced with that that anybody that has a one-off Astra House in a random backwater system has talking about Astra, we're talking about a 60 i don't care if it's a fucking key card yeah. If they have a keep star that's not a central keep star that's that was just a crab star that was put up there so that they could dock their work walls faster, I don't I don't I don't see why how, how does that have any benefit to the, the line yeah, you're, you're literally trying to fucking make a derivative of remember I mean, when you guys made fun of Nancy Dock for allowing the blasting of tribute? Develop some sort of like narrative like ooh, 
the Goonies aren't really defending their members, no, which is total. So before the, we just shot a Sotillo, we just shot a seventy billion Sotillo. A gunner didn't even fucking show up. In fair, so not even stopped, a gunner. I stopped so these things, from killing a uh, an Astra House, a brave Astra House, one time by myself in the structure. So I think if they manned them, it'll be at least a little bit better than the current state of, state of affairs. So they okay. Really, Chris, we Chris, killed, Chris, we Chris. killed a we killed a test structure in T five Z with destroyers Saturday night, and yeah, that was impressive actually. Yeah, you. yeah, congrats, you guys that killed the raider. Actually, really Boom, you did it. It was pretty hey, cool. There's, 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 there's a, 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 a test after or destroyed and zero. Dumbass, like, okay, oh, but here's the here's the point. Here's the problem with this show is a Sotillo rigged equal to a fucking rigged target. Yeah. Only, only in this show is bringing a hundred thousand people to a fight and then bragging about winning. Yeah, well, you guys did it. For well, years, let's but. be honest here. According, to you guys we brought one hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, numbers right. number. Here's the problem with your here's the problem with your argument, Brisk. Is you're talking about people put you know corporations putting up structures with this overarching concept of the war, but those things were put up before the war. When I'm very sure the line was, "Hey, go ahead. If you get in trouble with it, the goons are here. The big brothers are all here. We're all behind you guys." But the war started, and now the rules have magically changed. Sorry, we're not going to come help you. It's up to the corporations to manage their own structures. Sorry, boys. What That's what's what happening. I just, I, 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 honestly, I cannot, I cannot fathom. Brundle, I'm route. sorry, but you're fucking wrong. Can I? Ask it's just the most ridiculous thing ever. And that's going to be the entire argument from goons: is no, what you just said is wrong. Exactly. We're not going to. We're not going to substantiate that. All, there's half a ten thousand pocket structures. I have spent the war after the war started. The last half an hour explaining stuff. Structures are put up after the war started. Brisk, you have yet to explain why someone. Rundle, can I? Can I take this one? Go ahead. You've yet to explain why someone who uh, takes themselves under the wing of a greater alliance has paid for the moon that they're setting up the Athenor on, paid for their own Athenor, uh, and is a corporation of like 50 dudes. How they... have to pay for it, bro. We haven't even got to the goodies on the Athenor stuff yet. Yeah. Hey, well, um, so I've seen a task force of Tatara and three Athenors in the last two days. Who was there to defend those structures? None. Ah. Nobody. Well, they actually, we, we showed up to defend a couple. Well, the G Willikers. Why is nobody there to defend it? They should be so busy. Yeah, those, those get reimbursed. Hey, is the difference. Amazing. Exactly well, what Philly why just did. You... So we're going to make sure that the corporation is covered on those losses. Are you guys? Okay. How long are you going to do that? Chris, what do you mean? Oh, you always do that. I asked you yeah, if you said it was okay. I asked you if 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 test in test space, if you guys were allowed to put up structures, corporations were allowed to put up structures. You said no. Are you saying that that wasn't true? What? Like uh, so? I asked you flat out. I said, are, does test allow corporations to put up structures in Esoteria? You said no. Well, not willy nilly, no. Okay. If you want me to give you the true new nuanced answer, like, well, how many... my, my point was simply to make what I was saying make sense to the audience by saying that no alliance is going to cover and reimburse every single corporation asset that's put in space, whether they know about it or not. That's that's just dumb. And frankly, the idea that we're not we're not taking care of our corporations because we're not forming fleets to defend small structures that in the long run the cost of the fleet to defend it is more than the structure itself why would we do that especially when wait, wait, wait. we're not getting good fights when we're getting we're getting outnumbered regardless of how many people we bring it's just it, we're going to pick our fights we're going to pick the ones we think we can do we're going to harass we're going to harry we're going to do all the same stuff we're we're fighting a defensive war in which we're outnumbered so yeah, yeah right. And, and I agree stuff. with that strategy. I 100% agree with that lose strategy. Stuff. They I 100% agree with that strategy. I think that's the correct strategy to play. So what I'm just saying you. is that you guys need some honesty. You guys need some honesty to your member base to say your structures are going to get destroyed and you're going to be out of Shit's Creek. If you want to unanswer them, we, you need to do it now. Honest things, and you guys freak out about why are you being honest with the members and telling them things ahead we, of time? Oh my god, the truth sucks, and we want you to admit the truth. What do you think we've been doing? I mean, seriously, you it's you've been hilarious. Spinning. No. A lot of spinning. 
they're spinning on both sides. Six All weeks, right. six weeks ago, when people could have still unanchored their structures, you were saying they won't even make it into Delve. We're stopping them in that. NPC Delve. They're never I... gonna get in. Will are they even invading Delve? I don't think so. I remember on Theta Thursday, guys like, are we being invaded? No. Ha ha ha. Here we are, boys. That's literally the only reason why you dropped the T five Z keep star six so next that. door. No, it's so that we can the... progress in the war, actually. Is the fuck with Don Ray? Anybody with any there. lick of tactical common sense understands why that T five Z is the retorted spot to drop a fucking keep star. Yes, I totally agree. Congrats, you agree Most with yourself. Are you sure about that? Out, of a, out of a pool. Okay. But, but both sides. Yeah. Both sides are going to spin. Both sides are going to. But that's not true either. Both sides don't spin. One side tells the truth, and you guys spin. And then you just say, both sides are spinning. That is absolutely not true. I have called you out on things that you have said that have been Just because you call me out and say something doesn't mean it's true. It just means you're spinning. Absolutely it does. I'm not going to call you a liar unless I can prove it. And I have never called you a liar. That was great. I was like, I'd love an opportunity to call Brisk a liar. And then I got one and caught you in a lie. And you didn't. You didn't. That's the thing that's funny is that you you still think last night that because of the fact that Horde had some cormorants on Alliance contracts that were less than 32 million, that my statement that there are 32 million S cormorants on Alliance contracts from Horde, that's the cost. And I showed the screenshot that that's a lie. On no place on the planet Earth. Twenty six mil or whatever it was. No, it wasn't. Thirty two million is what you can buy a contract. If you walk into a store and there's a item for sale for thirty two million isk, and you say, "What does this cost?" Well, it's thirty two million isk. But that's not the truth. Just because there's somebody down the block selling it for something else doesn't mean that it that wasn't true. Exactly the same. Two bags of chips. Exactly the same. One is twenty six bucks. One is thirty two bucks. What is it cost? Like to refer to as a rules lawyer, and it's really it is it is beyond absurd that you guys are trying to call me a liar when I had the screenshot, and you confirm what I said was accurate. It's unbelievable. It's, this I mean, is 2020, where I, the truth is lies. Manipulating I mean, the truth man. is a lie. And then, you have the, and then you have the balls to stand here and say that you don't spin. Fucking Jesus Christ. Are you it Trump? Personally, spin. So. Well, wait, wait. Can I, can I, here's, so, here's the reality, I, Brisk. At what point have I been spinning that we're not going to win the war as we slowly, day by day, win the war. Like, when I said you guys were not as rich as people thought you were, everybody's like, oh, he's spinning. But here we go, war bonds. I said we were going to break into Delve. We are going to take your space. And here we are in Delve. Guys, I'm sensing some animosity between you two. Someone in Twitch chat <laughs> asked a good question. Do you guys argue like this in CSM meetings? Or is there like a disagreement over some NDA stuff that none of us know about that that's why you're yelling at each other? I've definitely had a similar argument with some of the members of CSM. But uh, I don't think me and Brisk have ever really argued this hard. It has not. It has. Okay. No. I, I remember one time where we got into it, but that was like six months ago. And but I just want to clarify. To I want to clarify on. just for, Billy, for the Billy sake of the show. Before you go on, Brisk, before you go on, I just want to clarify that nobody is forcing you to be here. And you are you are here of your own volition. And no matter how much I try to tell people not to yang up on you, you know that that's what they'll do and you come on anyway, right? The of name course. of the show is Trash Talk. Listen, Tuesday. I come that's here because I like it. You love us. You love us, right? I, li I like to argue. This is fun for me. Okay, so I, I hope that the audience enjoys listening to it. Oh, I so like so even though... So I hand count things that will get under my skin. And number so one... So even though it seems like everybody is ganging up on Brisk... He he likes it sometimes. The legal so team needs us. To we're all having this. we're all having fun, and after this is all over, we'll all be nice and happy together, and we'll go shoot each other in space. It, is this the belt like analogy speeding. someone was hinting at earlier? That like, so no, this is just me oh, making God. sure that I'm not just that people don't think we're setting up some sort of like torture chamber for Brisk on the Discord. Because that's not what's happening. <laughs> Holy right. fuck. Don Dunkel's so here, by the way. So, so two things. I mean, One, it, it, is a, it is an echo chamber. I would like to apologize for anybody who talked over. I learned how to do talk shows with Rain on open comms, and if you don't talk over, people don't want to <laughs> fucking hear you. Wait, red line. Shut the red fuck line. up. I'm going to move you into a different channel. Redline, well, I have something. It depends on whether, Dirk, it depends on whether Dirk is on the show or not, though, right? If Dirk is on the show. Can I tell you something? I need to make a public announcement real quick. 
Okay. Before that, just answer the question, Chad. You hold on, Tater Tot. Like, I do sound like Graf because he and I grew up in the same town. Go ahead. Did you just say you hold um, on, Tater Tot? Did you just call no, him Taylor's, a Tater Tot? I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought you called him a Tater Tot. No, I just got a good thing for you, Bill. I just want to uh, publicly apologize to uh, Doc Diggle for killing his sino the other day. Yeah, how he's could in you, here. Dude? How could you do that to Doc? I know. I felt hey, bad. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the I saw the I saw the name kind of match, but then I was Song like, nah, single? he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Oh man. Well, we do have about a half an hour left this show, and uh, I mean, since Dunk is here, we could we could move on to the last and final topic of how uh, a Crumbs. certain video game company is systematically destroying ways to make money and have fun in their video game. If we're yeah, can we all yell? Can, can Billy and I yell at and, and Dunk yell at Rich? That would be fun. That would nice, be uh, nice. Not not a soda, by the way, Dunk. We could just get that out of the way. Well done. Oh jeez, he played the Mario music. He played the Mario music. What did I do? You finished all the drinks that were in front of you. That seemed to like the important thing. All right, all right. <laughs> these drone changes. These drone changes have. Um... You know what? Since we're bringing out the soundboard, very well. No, no, we don't. We don't need the. the we don't. We don't need to. We. I endorse <laughs> this. It's like rap battles, and now it's going to be soundboard. Soundboard. Ridiculous. Anyway, or... these changes to the game to prevent AFK ratting, they do not stop botting. They they don't do anything. In fact, they haven't. Oh, like time. anybody, anybody who thinks uh, it's, it was going to meant to target botting, absolutely fucking not. We've had nightmare bots that lock on and F one tar- the rats. From oh like wait, did, did Rich just admit? Ago. He said we're or we have we as a nightmare bot. Yeah, we in my PvP group. Did someone clip that? It. We anyway. we got them, boys. We fucking oh, got them. Oh shit. Okay. Rich, that anyway. is it's not entirely true. No, there, there have been nightmare bots. I that's not what I'm lock on the targets and they shoot the thing. targets. Oh, okay. But they yeah, have existed the since that, at least like nine months ago. The statement that right. this has, this has this will have no impact on bots is not exactly true because when you take away the AFK ability, it's going to make it a lot more obvious who's botting and who isn't because nobody's going to be sitting at their keyboard pressing F doing the same shit for 18 hours a day anymore because it's not something you do while you're watching Netflix. It is not up so, to players yeah. to find bots. It is up to CCP. That's, and that's exactly that, true. That is true. Uh, instead, uh, they just do like a like a your drones disconnect from your ship after X amount of time. So what, like I a would, random event like RuneScape? I mean, they could. So you have to recap. I would, no, no, you RuneScape analogy mean? I will tell you straight up that if I want to rat AFK, I will still rat AFK. Well, CCP do not like no, you uh, doing any kind of AFK gameplay. I don't know what to say about this because I've yeah. never ratted it. I've never AFK ratted ever in Eve. Yes, you need to play the game exactly the way CCP wants you to play the game. This is not an open sandbox anymore. You need to get on the rails and follow the rails of the way they want to play you the game. What Dong said. Have you considered I'd... smart bomb ratting instead? I'd have you ever known E players? Have you ever known E players? Actually, I don't, I don't. I don't care about the AFK ratting, uh, the drone thing. Like, it's just it's another series in a thing that it's not. It's they're taking fun things away from the game. They're taking making it more grindy, and if that's their goal, if they want everyone to harden the fuck up, well, they're going to achieve that. But there needs to be fun in this game. And the questions I asked when I was in the CSM was, how long should it take someone to time, effort, earn a cruiser or a battleship? And they have no answer for that. They have no answer for what it takes in this game to get to an achievement. And that's a fundamental problem they have with the design philosophy they're following right now. Well, another it seems like there's two, there's two um, points that they're, they're moving dangerously close to where you, you pay to win, like unironically, like you pay to a fucking generate a revenue in this game because they're stripping a majority of the income sources for a lot of players out of the game or at least restricting it actually i i will say i think it's going to be the opposite i think that's one of the things that that folks are not thinking about is the whole idea that this was done because we want people to plex their accounts if there's no isk being generated 
then the price of Plex is going to have to go down because nobody's going to be able to afford it at what it is now. And if you're not using four or five accounts to AFK drone right at the same time, you're not going to Plex those accounts. You're not going to be doing it. So demand is going to go down for Plex at the same time that the that the amount of ISK entering the game is going to go down. Plex prices are going to go through the through the floor. They're going to drop. I think so, you're failing which will understand. require you to spend I mean, more actual money that, to God, buy Plex. Is, and ships talking and when someone starts talking. So, God fucking damn it. I what so. you're I, I don't think what what you're not seeing though is that even though that demand goes down i don't think there's a huge demand for plex to pay for extra accounts right now anyways it's just plex like you buy plex to get money just straight up isk so you can buy the ships that are now two to three times more expensive than they were a year ago here so, i'm gonna make a prediction and someone can clip me right here i am willing to predict and i'm pretty fucking confident that after this war is over, that there will be somewhere around a 30% drop in active players because everybody's just so fucking... The only reason that 30% of players is still keeping their accounts active is because they're involved in something fun that was player-fucking-created. And once it goes away, you're going to see that somewhere around 30% disappear. Yeah, Win or I'll... lose, this war will be the last for quite a lot of people. Not really. Well, I mean, after go ahead. Well, sorry, not a lot. Some people. Like, okay, can I just can I just actually say something? I mean, they are kind of camouflaging this with the with the numbers that are generated from the war, right? Like, not no one's really felt the effects yet. I, obviously, the prices of things are going up. I'm sure it's going to get much worse. There are already alliances that are needing ISK, and eventually like from their player base and eventually i'm going to suspect that the majority of alliances might need this if this continues so i would say that the drone changes like they're just part of a much bigger problem and i'd recommend that ccp get like andrew Groen to make like a histories of ccp for them so that they can begin learning from uh ccp's past mistakes and storied histories you only uh, hear it it's I nepotism, think... which is very common in Iceland. That's all you gotta fix, which they won't do because so, nepotism. I think all yeah, they gotta so like, we, I, we like... I think all they gotta I do never... is listen to their in-house economists. Like they, they don't. Economists. They don't have. First of all, they, they don't have a the fucking in-house economist. Like the got rid joke. of them a while ago. So I would I would never really put it past CCP, past or present, to completely rat fuck their game, which is semi what they're kind of doing right now. Uh, and these changes are ir eerily similar to the popularity of the original cap proliferation changes. So if you look on Reddit, people are crying. Unfortunately, like they're now targeting, like they were targeting these like kind of hardened super cap pilots who basically just got rid of their super cap accounts, stopped paying for those because of those changes. Now they've moved on to like Care Bears. Um, essentially, like, so they're trying to target, like, the richest dudes in Nullsec, but, like, the, the collateral damage from that will be... The richest the, the, dudes in the Nullsec. Care bear. No, the richest dudes aren't going to talk. I think, <laughs> I I think, think the issue is... Well, I mean, they're trying to, they're, they're, trying to the of, they're trying to get rid of... They're trying to, they're trying to get rid of, of stockpiles in Nullsec, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, those okay. who hold the stockpiles are going to essentially need to, uh, to some extent, forfeit those stockpiles as the but, market but, can use. But they don't. Them. The, the rich, the rich continue to get richer. The, the people who had is yeah, that's my that's my fucking point. That's are, my fucking are getting point. richer, so, the, so there's no wealth inequality being uh, stopped here, right? In fact, it's making it worse because I had ISK when this started, and I can afford to build a bunch of stuff. I'm getting turbo rich on this war. I'm a war profiteer, and this is the reality of the way Eve is played. And so the idea that I can now afford more super carriers and titans than I ever could in the game before scarcity. Right, it's it doesn't work the way they think it works, which is unfortunate. Right, which is it's the same way economics actually works. Right, the the richest people are the ones that are going to profit the most from these kinds of financial uh, catastrophes. They it will impact the you know the the low level or mid level care bears, and then just generally the peasants of Eve. Yeah, and those people may continue to to go on with the game, but I will remind everybody that this isn't like this isn't 2010. Like, this is a very different player base. This is a player base who can't handle a lot of the things that past player bases have been able to put up with. And, and it's very, very, you're on very thin ice with these specific people. So, I mean, after the war is over, I don't know, man. If this, if this ship doesn't turn around, I'll, 
a little fast, I would say that this is this is bad news for like I don't know what CCB is trying to accomplish. I don't think they're going to accomplish it. Well, I think they, well, what they want to get is they want to get well PVE to be more, I guess, engaging. They don't like the idea of people playing the game and uh, trying to well, kill their own game. And by. It's not engaging though. Like they don't engagement... want they don't want people to they don't want people to undock in say an Ishtar or Dominic's warp to a site, drop drones, and go AFK. Like that's rich to them. That's poor game. You design. Much something throw they somebody into the ocean and then throw the life vest to them six months after they fucking got tossed into the ocean, like. How much? How much does an Ishtar actually make passively, like AFK ratting and like what? I actually have like, no idea. A ridiculously, most. it's a very small amount of this. So small. Hundred mil per fifteen minutes. No. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think so. It's, it's a normal it's twenty mil. Or it's twenty mil. Yes. Wherever you rat, it matters because you, uh, depending on what is there and how high a price, like say for Garistas. You're going to get missiles, you're going to get, if the faction spawns, you're going to get faction missiles, or if the dread spawns, you're going to get all these drops. Depending on what people want, you're going to get a lot of money, or you're going to get nothing. The, the problem can... is, though, is that CCP has PvE, or anomalies, which are so boring they can be done by people being AFK. And instead of fixing how boring they are by being AFK, they s instead take away the tools to be AFK. So instead, what you're going to have to do is have players being engaged with the shittiest, fucking, most boring-ass content in any MMORPG ever. That And instead of fixing the root cause, they're fixing a symptom like they do every fucking time they initiate What they fix. really need to do is lower the barriers to entry to, like, mission running. Nullsec mission running. Because that's actual content. Yo, so what the, they probably need to do is what they need to, is is to focus exactly what Rain said. Focus on creating PVE content that people like. And every time uh, everybody asks what PVE that. do people like, the only PVE that I hear people say that they that they really like for the experience itself, not for the rewards, is the abyssal stuff. So my whole take and what we said on the meta show, and I'll repeat it for those that didn't watch, my biggest issue really is. And this isn't a tone. This isn't. A, I don't. I like what you're saying. I don't like the tone argument. This is li literally a thing that I have been pushing for the last two years on the CSM, and that is, if you're going to take something away from somebody, give them something to balance it out. And that's why. And I, I, I linked. I linked in ecosystem today the freaking song from Mary Poppins, "The Spoonful of Sugar," because I'm trying to make the point that. If you're going to take stuff away, you're going to take rewards away, then there has to be some reason, other reason to do this stuff. And if it's and if there is none, then people won't do it. And that's Dunk's point. That's my point. That's Merkle Chen's point on the show. The PvE in this game sucks. We don't play the game for PvE. PvE is a, is a means to an end. So if you give us a reward that's worth doing, we will do it. But if you take that reward away, then we're not going to do it. And people not doing PvE is a bad thing for EVE. Because a lot of PvP content is based on going out and fucking with people while they're PvE. Yeah, so the more, the, fucking happen, the more likely it is that bad things are going to happen to everybody else. This is an ecosystem. It all is combined. It all is, is connected. Can I guess it, be, it is tap or an is sync, and it needs to be a balance, right? I mean, because what... The, you know, one of the points was 10 years ago, there was not the competition in the gaming space for a game like this, but they haven't woken up to the competition level. And so the balancing of the game is you have to get new tools. You have to get the right people in to balance a game like this now to meet all these restrictions and conditions and needs. And you can't do it like you did 10 years ago. That's, but that's the challenge. Well, right they're now not we run really into a big difficulty with, current events so they they don't have the um development time to actually add new content so what i'm saying is they need to lower the barriers of entry to things that to pve content that actually is engaging and does have rewards can i just say when your video game though echoes the reality of a global catastrophe People are not going to want to play that fucking game. Even if they have oodles of time, they're not going to want to play that game. Not that is, the, that the is an extraordinary... No, no, it's an extraordinary mistake what they're doing right now. And the only reason I can see is other than like, yeah, we're going to piss off all the Care Bears and literally all the people who pay for the game. Outside of that, when there, by the way, there are a bunch of free options. You have uh, a good point. Yeah, removing the, point the is, fucking reward factor of 
like the dopamine uh, 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 hit, the dopamine hit yeah. that I get because I'm on top because I, you know, I love this game and I've put in like 10 fucking years or whatever, that dopamine hit that I get when I log in suddenly goes away when I'm faced with the realities of an economy that is completely fucking spiraling downward and may in fact reflect like my IRL. Right, yeah, like that. Uh, I think that is honestly when this, well, they might have been able to do this after can, a global fucking catastrophe, but maybe not. Maybe not during it. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask and, a question? Sure. So sure. today they changed the game a little bit, which was good to see that they iterated on the ESS. But they made, I think they increased the bonuses of you could get even higher bonus for more explode. You know, so stuff up in they increased the or modif or they increased the writing modifier up to 100. Right. So there were some changes, the but default, to me, to, to me, it was like, it seemed like it was okay. Like at least in our space, we had people coming all the time. There were fights going on. It didn't seem like, so were there other places where it wasn't working as they intended? So I'm just, I'm interested in what other people think about the ESS changes and why they felt they needed to make it so quickly. So I actually, that by people, <laughs> Just did, did a little write up on this. What they have basically done is I, they have basically said either you can make 95% of your ISK. Like in a default system, you can you can not defend, you cannot PvP, because the new default is now 135% of base, right? The No, no, I I, I, I get how it works. What I'm yeah. saying is why did why did they change it after what two weeks? Like what, was what wasn't happening? I think my five... there were too many too many systems that it was the risk was there, but the reward was not high enough for people to get people out or sitting there. and it just they weren't I don't think the amount of money coming in uh, as far as I could tell and I'm not uh, you know Billy and I I know have, have had conversations very recently about this stuff with these guys I'm trying to make sure I don't I don't break so it was it was a, a situation where they felt the care wasn't attractive enough that was my that... understanding was that okay. that it looked like the numbers were down low enough that they want that they wanted to help so the sync tap balance was way out in other words that was that was my that was my and then we also had a lot of complaints that we pass on from people uh complaining about the tactics that were being used and that's why you saw the cloaking uh extension out for to 150 from 75 things like that so that, that... If anything, I'm happy that they're iterating on it because it demonstrates that at least they're paying attention and they, they promise that they're going to look at this stuff and, and adjust it as it happens. So that makes me happy. Right. Well, I, what is the interesting time? time? Well, I'll talk about this, last, and that is the five minute timer. I feel compared to a raw call five minute timer, the five minute time for the ESS is, was rather short because there's no way somebody could put a raw call and panic in, well, immediately. It would take at least, you know, two, three, four, five minutes to put the rock I think you might be surprised how quick a rock can put it. It depends. It depends on the fleet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're telling me, Rich, you're telling me that in a system where they can have Hugans and Rapiers staged and literally just warp to the site at zero and come in and you're stuck there, you're telling me five minutes is too short? I'll get onto that in a moment, but them increasing it to one minute uh, to uh, six minutes, 30 seconds, I feel, you know what, that is a reasonable change because I feel it might give uh, the defenders more time to prepare. You know, five minutes to me for them to get uh, their ships ready, get undocked and then get to the ESS and, you know, fight it out. I thought that was a bit too short of a time with six minutes, 30 seconds, the additional increase of 90 seconds. I feel that's. Uh, just a bit long enough to uh, long enough for them to actually get into the system and promote a fight and bring so, overwhelming and it, numbers and never do anything else. And it let it, it lets us respond to places that are farther away. I so to, I, what I, what I'll say in regards to all this is this: CCP has just shown that they are willing to turn the knobs to see what effects it will have if it will increase the th things the way they want to increase them. You have just seen this. There is nothing stopping them from turning those knobs again in any direction they see fit based on the data they see. Right, but my point is, is like nothing stops me from turning the knobs on my credit card, right, to to say like maybe 10 or 11 accounts is too much this this month. Go ahead. And that's maybe, that's so, that's I mean, no, fair. but I mean, that's literally what We've is going had... to happen. No, no, but it's not like this. Is, I, I'm not going to well, because I actually need those accounts well, I, and I'm I, addicted I, to this game. But like but there are the people thing. who are doing this that, already, no, right? No, no, no. Listen, listen, what you just said before the first part. Correct, yeah. I'm not me. I'm addicted to this game. Listen, I will tell you this right now. CCP, from my understanding, the way that I hear them talk publicly 
about the player base and the like. And this is nothing that I'm getting. This is all based on public, my public perception of what they have said publicly. They believe that the average Eve player is going to stick around no matter what they do. And for the most That's part, I've, I've seen I've seen Falcon say it publicly before he left the company that every time they make a change, somebody says, I'm unsubbing all my accounts, and they never do it. So there is, I think there is a belief that they can do whatever they want because we're never going to quit. At that's some not, point, that's not going to be true, but I think that's the perception. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I, I don't think that that's actually. I think they're they're a little. I mean, I guess they have the numbers, so they must know. But like, I know people who have literally just walked away from this game over the super changes and never came back. I know those people. I talk to those people on a regular basis. I have, I have friends who have done this. Yeah, and, like they never anecdotes. My corporation has not recovered yet. SDK has not recovered from the work hall changes. I'll, all my, most of my friends that I started playing with don't play anymore. Right, I'm like, dude, dude, they yeah. made this super better. You can actually move around. It's it, it is limited, but it's still it's a thing. And they're just like, now nah, fuck this game. I'm I'm over it. I'm telling and, you. Like, I'm gonna be honest. After after this war, I'm gonna have a really 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 fucking hard time logging back into this fucking. Dunk game. Billy, am I wrong in that? Would you guys agree with me in that statement? And I'm super die hard on no. this game. To a degree. I'll be I'll be honest, I'm one of those players. I'm not gonna quit the game. I'm like, unless it actually starts costing me like way too much IRL money. I'm not I'm not gonna quit the game. Yeah. I'll I'll keep all my accounts up. I'm gonna do what it is that I do. But the thing is is like I went out black ops um hunting the other day with uh with a fleet. And uh we went to a really good region, traditionally an amazing region, even with the war, a very good region. And we came back with nothing for probably the first time in my entire life. The entire time I played the game, I've come back with nothing from that region. And that's because people are like, fuck ratting. That's basically what it is. It does I'm concern not... me, the the push for people to do things like Abyssals. I'm not a fan of Abyssals. I'm not a fan of the, the mechanics and how they're instanced at all. Uh, I love Abyssals. I, See, I'm she isn't scared. trying to push scared. people into Abyssals. Well, well, to be yeah. fair... Abyssals are technically now the new way of ratting because the problem with ratting is now that we have to wait for our money in the ESS and the chance of somebody stealing it, like say there's 108 mil and you've been out here ratting for okay. two hours and suddenly your thing gets taken by like five people. If there's 180 you get on mil, and your is gone. If what? If there's 180 mil say. in the bank, then you have multiple people in the system. If you have multiple people in the system, then they can bring overwhelming superiority against the one guy who's taking the the is. Marius, you know this. You've been in Brave. You've been on the ESS stuff. What happens consistently is in those systems, we have dudes, and Dunk said this before it came out, we have dudes who have chips that are worth a lot of isk and pods that are worth a lot of isk, and all they do is as soon as someone comes in, they just snipe them. It's not about overwhelming numbers. If the enemy ship is worth more than your entire fleet, right? And that's been my gripe about this too for a very long time, is that the people who have more money have a very distinct advantage, even, even in terms of numbers, because of the MWD. You can't, you, can't, you can't have an MWD. It benefits those people who can afford the snake pots, who can afford the blingy MWD or ABs, avoid, you know, blingy uh, overdrives, whatever else. To hit out to, in guns that have 200 still kilometers. Stuck. Are you poor? They're still stuck. Are you, complaining, you know. are you complaining that a NullSec alliance is too poor to compete with a few dudes with snake pods? Is that it's what not we're about the NullSec right? alliance. It's I about mean, the If okay. you... Hold on. Because, like, holy fuck, if, dude. If a rapier is on grid with two webs, whoever mm. that guy with the snake pods and all the other implants and shit, he's stuck. Right? Not I'm, if he's I'm, going. Not if the dude's already like like a hundred kilometers off. Then the he's ESS not sitting. getting the ESS money if he's a hundred kilometers off. He's not getting the ESS off. money. By the no, way, no, please no. don't respond back to me. I'm going to make a drink, Dad. So we've okay. had we've know, had this discussion. We've okay. had this discussion back in our comms. I didn't get very far because everyone was talking over me there. I don't think. I, I think I have more PVP side people on my side this time, but I don't think this is what the the discussion of the show was supposed to be so i'm gonna leave it there i don't think it's worth it to even be the guy that goes out and steals ess right now i don't think the carrot's there because if you have to see a wasa man if okay 
So tell if them you... what that goes and steals the ESS. I'll talk about it. Just go ahead. There are a lot of people like doing it right now. Yeah. A I, lot of people I, yeah. like it for the content. A lot of people like it for the content, and that's great. You're doing it but those only people for the financial go out reward, and die. Yeah. Those people go out and die. If you're doing I go it out only and die. for the financial reward, yeah. you're, you're probably going to be disappointed because it's not to, meant to be just, you know, doing it for financial reward. Yeah, yeah. I, when did so I say the, that it Lothar was just a while back. reward? I was well, never said it would be disappointed. But that you guys... I'm going there for, uh, to, for to steal, which, uh, well, yes, I'm there to steal, if, but no, I'm, I'm, if I'm not If it's a game mechanic the... so that it, you can steal, then that is an incentive. What I'm are not, you talking I'm not about? Obviously, I'm... there is an incentive to go out and steal it. All right, so, I'll address some things. So you're... Do. So you're saying that right now there's a dotted line around a carrot, and you're saying that carrot, which isn't there yet, is too big. That's what you're saying right now. Because, oh no, running. five minutes was too long. Five minutes was... Sorry, you were saying five minutes was too short. Five minutes was too little too, time for the de de defender to reliably put together a defensive force that they would feel comfortable engaging the enemy with, not so. creating situations no, that reduce the likelihood of content. Not really, so. absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Yeah. There is zero reason why CCP would have extended the time if they did not have numbers that seem to indicate that people were stealing too many of these. So all of a sudden yeah. we're on the side of CCP <laughs> just turning knobs for no reason. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no. oh, so, so, like, the, the ex like so CCP's the one with this. the actual data. Like, they're the ones who are turning the knobs. With They're the only people with any data. You're talking about purely anecdotal experience. They're ones with actual fucking data. And they're turning right. the knobs. And, and I'm not saying to... they get it right every time, but yeah. at least they have a chance of understanding the knobs they're turning. They are trying to get to a balance, right? The ESS always the whole idea behind this it was supposed to be a all i'm saying is you don't need six and a half minutes and you do not need anyway. six and a half minutes so to show they go up out there and they roam and they don't get content well at least they can steal something and they get something out of it it's always what it was and so far as far as i can tell that's working you don't Marius. need you don't need six and a half minutes to form one or two rapiers and a T one battleship. Okay, well then Marius, I, I, not that way, I'm then not... the CCP will change the knobs. Like here's the thing. They have these knobs, they can change them. This is an iterative process that they're working on. Marius, I'm gonna go ahead and boldly claim this. I probably and right now we're more providing ESSs. feedback. I feel that I may uh, I'm going to boldly claim I may have stolen more ESs than half the people in this uh, stream right now. In this That's stream, right, correct. Uh, you, do, you, do you, do, you do a lot of people. I do a lot of ESS oh, yeah. stuff. And I will say, I will tell you that five minutes, five minutes, very often, Blood. we will see a form up and they will arrive way too late to stop us. Yeah. The, well, to be fair, form up in, within five minutes or like usually far. already have a fleet ready at all times and. Right. Then, oh, there's very few groups that could do that. Six, seven so what minutes happens, is a lot better Rich, because it gives Rich, them that 90 Rich, extra seconds to get in. Rich, what happens, when, when what happens you... afterwards, though? Because you showed up with five or more dudes. And you have to split that, that issue... is five ways. So? I don't think so, the issue is... I'm not there for the, so the incentive. So the incentive is, the so the incentive is the less. It, it, the incentive... The incentive is no, you can kill no, people. no, no. Like, the incentive is getting to kill people. They're they're small gangers, and they found they they have a, 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 a they have a way to small gang now. But they, where they actually might up. get a response from you fuckers. They won't you show up in something that they will lose. They just won't. We you know all the time. You don't know yeah. that. Dude, we, do you know what happens when somebody bill. loses cruisers to get in there? So they do you, do you know what happens? Bill, we lost a five bill legion. We lost a four bill legion because some dipshit walked to the ESS and it was bubbled. Uh, we we will lose stuff. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what like we're all like. Are we in the same alliance, man? Do you think <laughs> like, these people? No, but do you think these people actually make a lot of esque? Like th this is what they want to do with their time in the game. Okay, and I guess in wormholes you do like small ganging and like faction la, low sec, like where where I did it. Like I made fucking nothing. If I lost a high snake, I've never lost a high snake snake pod, a high grade snake pod because I couldn't literally, I literally could not afford to risk that. I literally could hey. not do it because if I did that, that would be the end of my fucking like small gang thing with that specific comp. All right, so I mean, like, dude. You can keep bitching about how like null set groups are not equipped to deal with the small gangers. This this is actually really good. I do actually like the ESS changes in that they give small gangers kind of a, a purpose now. Okay, you guys need to adapt 
get some jump bridges in places, have standing fleets, have comps that you feel confident with like 50 dudes jumping into a fucking ESS and killing uh-huh. a couple of is, people with snakes. I'm looking Choco right. Chaps and I am elite in PvP. Okay, okay. No, okay. I'm not. I'm not. I have seashells. Okay, as for the five minutes, as for the five minutes, the problem was people would try and form up a fleet. They would uh, start forming up and they'll form up within about three, four minutes. And by the time they form up that many, they've got less than, you know, they got what, what one minute, 30, one minute. I agree seconds with you. I agree. Yeah. Under, get the to that location. I... Get everybody onto the ESS. Then get in. That. I have a question. That's not so, a lot of time to do that. No, no. So Rich doesn't get his fight. Rich. No, no. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rich does get not get fight. his fight. I right. Get that's fi- what Rich is. That's what Rich is sad about. Is he doesn't get his fight. You guys need to understand that. Like, you know, I, I get away you, with like 60 mil, 100 mil. Like, I, I don't, you, you know, you may think, oh, yeah, you, you just got away with that money. No, man. No, I don't want that. That's, I want the fight. I want I want the chills. I want the uh, dopamine from the fight. I, don't yes, want the- right. I accidentally so, hacked one of those ESS things. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the things that I get out of it. You so it, it doesn't matter. You it it doesn't matter. Just them. give them the Loki Choco Chips. He'll deal with it. So. <laughs> Th- these changes sure. actually, I do actually like too, like those specific changes, like Rich is saying, because it gives you fucks a little bit more time to get your shit together so that you can come and fight and potentially kill us or potentially lose some shit. Because honestly, I've I've done this like a, a lot with my corp, not as much as Rich because I do other things as well, but I've done this a lot with my corp. We have a good comp. I feel confident with it. I've had zero fights currently. Last night, we almost got a Lashak, but we were already warping away from the ESS, having taken the poultry 100 million or whatever the fuck it was that we got when it came in. And I'm like, fuck. And like, we literally had to like come back in and it was like a whole thing. And then by so, that point, he had gotten cold feet and he had fucked up. Here's so, the thing. CCP, it's a thing. CCP fucking nails it every once in a while. Like the, the ESS, you know, the according to you, they've done it correctly. The uh, the filaments, for example, for small games, were for really small fucking games. cool. Uh, reducing yes. ha weapons to dreads only was a was a great um, escalation theory type thing, which I, I thought was a very good move. And um, there's there's a few other things that in his why don't they keep like sticking or keeping within the vicinity of like noticing what is super um, productive like, productive uh, in the game. Yeah. You yeah. got different groups doing different stuff. They all have different rules and responsibilities. They all got different uh, taskings from on high. That, that kind of Every stuff. Every couple of weeks, Talos hits something for you guys, like right. you know, that pretty much part. nonstop, right? Um, what was it last week? It was Griffin Navy and and the Phoenix torpedoes. Torpedoes, right? right? Like the things that needed to be addressed for like a long time. And I don't think anybody's really opposed to that. It, it's changed the dynamic of you know Eve combat a little bit, probably and preferably in a good way. Um, and, and everybody should be happy about that. But that team is doing their thing. But there's also this ecosystem group that does the ecosystem and they're building new content and they're trying to take Eve's ecosystem and its, uh, you know, macro, you know, economic perspective and trying to fix it bit by bit, you know, right. and it's not an easy job. It's, it's definitely it's not, not an easy job. They're making a lot of mistakes as they do it. It's uh, also, I want to point out real quick. I think the Austin test pool the Owasta ratting numbers. Owasta has systems down to half bounties right now. Owasta, isn't by that the like way. a fucking soup or something? I see on stream yesterday that Owasta is down by fifty percent. Oh my god! No, look at look really at for right now. Like now. there's oh. systems in Owasta with fifty percent. Like everybody go, rats. everybody that's, go. That's, that's true. Uh, oh, oh. It doesn't mean that, they, that they're still not down. R- Ruben, right. I, I'd like to address. Y- yes, uh, some of the small gang groups, mine included, we will go to certain areas, ESSs, with a competent uh, fleet because once we get onto that grid, it's very difficult to get more people in. It's very difficult to get reinforcements in. Once you walk to the ESS, you're committed. And so if we are in a proper fleet composition, we've got logi, we've got control, we've got damage, we've got everything. Yeah, we're going to need, you guys are going to definitely need a little more than five minutes to form up a proper response against us. You don't, you know, if you if you go around with a born to lose tattoo on your forehead and you walk into the ESS with the wrong ships and with a poor composition with no clue what you're doing, you are going to die. So that extra 90 seconds, completely valuable. 
And for those who uh, talk, talk about, oh, yeah, why don't pe people park a, you know, a Hugin or something in the ESS? Well, you might catch some people who don't know what they're doing. You, park, you, you know, you got a Hugin, you got a Dominix. They warp in, they don't know what they're doing. They didn't combat scan the site. They didn't de-scan the site. Yeah, they'll die. Um, I like to think my group is a little bit more competent than that. Uh, maybe not always, but we try to make sure we don't fall for things like that. Did, did you make a, a Spider-Man reference, or did I just... As like, a, no, that's a heat reference. As a CEO of a corp, of a small corp, a starting corp, right? We just started. Uh, we're, we're a tiny little corp in a tiny little low-sec alliance. As, as a yeah, CEO of that, I, people are just spinning. Ridiculous. So I like so I like to be able to take my guys out, just our guys, right? And, and it, this actually does give me a very interesting kind of target now like we can we can literally just filament we can go look for some ess shit um whatever happens happens i think it's actually i think ccp hit it out of the park with both of those things those two things in combination are very good it doesn't mean that i need to go tackle like a battleship or two battleships with my four or five guys or my maybe my six or seven guys or my eight or nine guys for it to have been a successful rome right as you know like roams can be a thing that a lot of people don't like to go on because mostly they're targetless you eventually might find something you might not find something it depends on where the fuck you want to go and if there are people there and if they're smart or if they're stupid so i i really do enjoy this content I need CCP to look at what they've done and then try to put that into like the rest of the game because it was it was a really good idea. It was smart. It worked with the majority of almost everybody. I think almost everybody. I mean, right now you guys are in a war. The big Nullsec clients are in a war, right? But like any group of like, you know, up to 25 guys can take a filament and go anywhere and go do this shit. That is a lot of fun. So a quick question for you, actually, Lothar Mandrake asked it a way back, but with a war going on, is is the people who are doing this, uh, Marius, Loki, Rich, are you equally worried about the changes if there wasn't a war? I think a war, you know, puts more people back in the homelands, uh, you know, maybe it changes the ISK flow, stuff like that. Are these changes, are you guys this kind of at this moment? feel in a certain way about it because of the war? Is there impact there? I think it would be better if there were more people in their own space to defend their own space with these changes. With does, were, C does CCP make the changes still, though? Do they, Or are they taking an opportunity, maybe? I if mean, there wasn't war, we'd be going to Delve a lot more often. Delve used to be a great place to roam. What, uh, anywhere close to 1DQ would be a great place to find smaller fights. People would unduck and just, you know, skirmish with us. Now with the war going on, it's a little bit more difficult because you have full-on defense fleets and people who are well, a lot more. Thanks, Billy. Angry. And every other side of the hashtag. Boy. Thanks. Every so other I, side oh, of the galaxy. It's made it you're so sad. Like, oh, you just oh, gotta oh. ask that one v one in sun. The goal. The goal here. The goal here to answer your question, Rundle. Uh, that no matter if there's a word, there's not a word. The goal would be to take a small group of common pilots out to a place where they're going to get a lot of content, but they're not going to get blocked. Okay. And so CCP has given small gangers a sort of haven where that can actually take place. Now, what happens to the rest of the gates in that system when that, you know, that's a whole other story. Maybe they bubble fuck the shit out of their system, they lock it down, and they make these small gangers want to just log out of the game forever. You know the best place I, to I go know. to get fights without getting blobbed? Cheetah. Brave. And Abnor and brave. Please don't say low sec. Oh, brave. And, uh, brave. Did you just say Brave? Yeah, that's not okay, true. I'd like to address something yeah. by Tahanis. That is, why would you defend an uh, ESS that's worth half your ship? Um, and this is a mentality that a lot of people, uh, only in Nullsec, have actually come up with this. I've never heard anybody in Small Gang because it's a different. we have a different way of thinking. But uh, the way of thinking is, why would you, you know, why would you not attempt to kill the person who's, you know, in that ESS? Their ship is worth a lot more. It's a challenge. You know, you're worried about defending or losing 180 million. You're thinking, oh, I wouldn't do that because my ship is worth more. My mentality is, why wouldn't I go in there when I can kill their ship, who's which is worth a lot more? You know, that's a challenge for me. I'm, I think that's the way I think. When I see somebody in, enter system, I think, oh no, that's that's such an opportunity. I'm going to lose my ship. No, I think that's an opportunity. I'm going to kill them and take their stuff. Well, the, and the and the ship oh, restrictions I wanna, I wanna... kind of force a bottom line, right? Like, there's a bottom line of the ship that you know is going to be there, and what your ship is going to be worth, just because oh, of the yeah. ship size, right? So that to me, that's the interesting thing about the ESS is it forces you to think like cruiser and up. You can't do it in the small stuff, which 
it's a different way of playing small gangs, right? And if you want to Wait. learn a little technique on how to piss people off who sit in ESS, okay, the changes to the ESS where they made it, you can't cloak as far, that's, I like that because there was a certain somebody who sits in a certain either bar guest or uh, nightmare, which is shoots over well over 100 kilometers range, and all he does is snipe. He's killed a lot of people doing this. I, it's a really stupid strategy because if you try to catch him, he'll just line out, he's already lined out at 100k plus, and he'll just warp off, or he'll cloak up. It's I'm happy to see they've changed the uh, the change of the cloak. Now, I'm going to give you a little technique, a little secret on how to stop people who like to snipe in the ESS. That is, you watch the timer on their loot looting, and then you go to the gate, you activate the gate, and then you control space. And if they stop looting, you successfully reset the loot timer, and you'll piss them off because now they'll have to start the loot up timer again, and you can scare them, if, especially if they have eyes on the outside of the ESS, you can scare them into not looting. And that's what they're doing at that point. They're sitting in the ESS doing absolutely nothing. So that is how you uh, deal with people who run these snipey compositions. And you can do this to store, your, store them from looting until you can have a proper fleet show up and you can push them through. There's a difference between killing the person looting the ESS and scaring them off, depending on what your strategy is. If you want to kill them, you're going to have to adopt a different strategy. If you want to scare them off and protect the ESS, well, this one should work. Well, wow. on that. Hold on, note, what was Brisk saying about earlier? I want to. I want to. I want to hear oh, this before. We're, Brisk, we're not, preach. We're not. Uh, gonna do that. I, love, I have a question. I love Brisk. Jeremy I, and Dunk and the guys. I love you guys. I love Brave. I love fighting you guys. We go to G Tech all the time. We always get fights. We have a good time. Uh, you guys are are really good about putting together a first boss fleet, coming out fighting. You don't blob. You don't do stupid stuff. I love Brave. You guys are you, you and Horde are my two favorite groups on the on the on the other side in this war. Brisk. Oh wow, that's real. Uh, if you're wanting to schedule we're, a fight, we're we're recruiting. We are. How big of a fleet are you bringing? Brisk. I want my drones Brisk. back. Brisk. How Brisk big of a fleet are you bringing to Brave Space? Huh? How big of a fleet are you bringing to Brave Space? Depends. Usually between 100 and 100. Brisk is new Brave. The hundred confirmed. <laughs> you, you're telling me they don't blob? They sent they sent 15 people after two of us. 15. Yeah, so what are we supposed to do? More than ten. So, I mean, so do like, we tell our friends well, course, in standing uh, fleet that no, 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 can't no. participate? Is that no? What, I'm, what I'm do? saying, yeah, to yeah, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, 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 to tell the seagulls Daka, they can't can eat anything. We can only bring a fair fight to these guys that have come to our space. Bring night to a gunfight. Guys are, Indeed. No, no, we'll, 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 we'll still we'll still fight you. Luckily on the ESS grid, you can't walk around Jack Some, onto us. Someone so, run uh, the numbers and see what is an equilibrium of what ships they brought to our space. Okay, we got to make this as equal as this is fair ground here, guys. Okay, it's, it's not fair, guys. Don't don't up up only, guys. guys. Come on. No, no, Rich no. literally saying nerf diplomacy. Like to be <laughs> no, fair, you can't. Just, out. You, ca you can't uh, exactly warp ram jags onto us so it's a lot of fun to fight in the ss grid there's no ram jags there's no ram tackle uh we can it's a lot more fun for us oh yeah because you can and, use your uh, one billion esque pod against a, a newbie who can afford a 30 well, million -esque you know what you could cruiser. do what fraternity does what, you know what you could do what fraternity does you could do what no jason bourne in fraternity this is what he does we killed his uh mid-grade snakes interceptor what does he do next he undocks a high-grade snakes god rolled hugan scared the shit out of me like, that's how you PvP. That's how you sca fight these guys. He brought an equal fleet to us. Like, that guy knows how to PvP. He gets us killed. I need, uh, I need I like, yeah, he's Jason Moore. Well, like, yeah, two ends. I love I how love your idea of somebody knows how to PvP is them showing up with a 3 billion ship to come kill you. I love well, he shows up to... in what we show up. <laughs> he, you know, it scares the shit out of us when... Uh, the, no, no, the way to be good fair. at PvP is to have more money. It's not okay. about skill, it's just about how much money you have. Thank well, you for that. I thought it was about how much money you have. Do you think PvP is just a hundred man fleet? I love listening to null sec people look at small gang, low sec, wormhole people and judge them based on the amount of money that they're spending coming into their systems where they could get bubbled and lose a pod that could be worth a million of their fucking ships. Like, like, does that even make where, sense to you guys? Where honestly? do you, where does do that you go actually... that has bubbles on like, that has just bubbles sitting on me? No, no sec One has bubbles, two. Jeremy. I know you're a new FC, no but sec. holy fuck, oh, dude. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, awesome. Are you still scared of bubbles? 
Like, okay. Oh, hi, guys. Where do you, My name the is reason, the reason, I am Loki the reason Choco. somebody would be, the reason, the reason, the reasons, I'm not saying that I'm elite, but My the reason that people don't would be afraid so to take a four or five or six bill pod into Nullsec is that if they make a mistake, which is possible, Nullsec or a small gang PVPers are not necessarily perfect, right? So if they make a mistake and there's like a billion fucking Nullsec dudes shooting at them and they make a wrong turn, their ship might explode. And if their ship explodes and then they get bubbled, then there's no way to no get bubbled though. You're going too fast. Like, like yesterday, we had a, uh, we had a you, you, have, you guys need yourself? to learn how to have fucking probes and sabers at the same time. Oh my okay? god! Get a Loki, saber. If I, if I have them so it's really not the, it's really not the fucking hard. Snakes. So we are supposed to warp to you and bubble you in the two seconds it takes your your pod to align. Oh my god. I mean, we do this to you. We, so we did this to he's, doing oh a, he's in a system that requires him to warp to a gate, Jeremy. He needs <laughs> to warp system? to a fucking gate. So then yes. just put and a fucking more, saber on a fucking, fucking gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yesterday, so, okay, we, had, uh, yesterday we fragged two response fleets. Those were two response fleets. See, Loki, fleet you can't, you can't keep fucking. It's Richard's turn to talk about how great he is. We, we All right, let, uh, the response yeah, was worth less than three billion combined. And you know what happened to us? We one of our pilots warped to the wrong gate. He died and lost what was it? A six billion legion and a four billion high grade snake pod. Like it, that's that happens. You think these implants? You think this bling makes me better than you? No, Rich, Rich no, and doesn't. Loki. How many fly, ribs did each of you remove? I can fly in a clean pod. Tragically. I can fly in uh, Tech Two ships, and I'll still find a way to kill you. That's, fly, that's fine, I fly, that's fine. To be fair, I fly in a clean pot. All right, I fly in a clean pot. So, Jeremy, here's like, the thing. It's, right. not the, it's not the pod or the bling that makes me good. It's the fact that I to have the people fair. that... To be fair. So, let's, let's, let's write this, record this now, gentlemen. Rich Richmond has now officially said that he's good at the game. So, the anytime show... he says he's not, we can now say that he has said The show is going. literally being recorded, Jeremy. Also, to be fair. Rich, Rich, you try to show up to evac or to... Uh, evict him later on. He can always cry about you know not being good okay. at the game. Is that what you're I saying? I guess go ahead. I mean, I mean Jeremy, you I, have an idea. I don't think I, I don't think I'm that great at the game. I think there's plenty of people, gentlemen, much, much better than and me. lady be in the channel. Um, lady I unfortunately channel. have to tell you that at the moment, um, we need to end this show. Uh, we have an after show where we keep talking because we're, we're on a roll hey, here, Brisk, man. Why is there five pages of a panel? Red line, we have to have the after yeah, show, man. There is no after show. Before. What do you mean? We have over 200 people, more than the CCP channel. That's fine. We are producing <laughs> better <laughs> content. The channel's offline. We outlasted them. Plus, it, oh, they're offline? Okay, great. That means we can oh, cut now. Jeremy, I just wanted to make sure. Hell. But we are we are a partnered channel with CCP, so um, <clears throat> just saying if anybody is listening. Um, so yeah, but we we I mean I can I can do one thing, but I need Rain to be here to do it, or someone who has access to shut the stream off. Um, Wait, I thought Rain was here. Well, it looks like Rain left actually. A little while ago. She didn't just, enjoy well, the, the ability to turn off the stream. Does Loki? He's a host. I mean, Riker, Riker, you have the ability to raid a channel, right? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. But who are we raiding? So, I mean, well, I mean, if we're not going to have to raid anybody right now, um, we raid can simply sparkle. wait until you guys are finished chatting, and then I can just have Riker raid somebody. Or, you know, What's we can our... do the tried and true, the proper method. Um, we can do our final thoughts and the stream, and then do a... Uh, I, don't, I don't need an after You're show. This whole, sh this whole show is a fucking know. after show, man. What the fuck? I thought everybody was enjoying Loki uh, blow himself there for a while. Also, uh, uh, Redline, can I get you to raid, though? I mean, I enjoyed it, Bill. Thanks. Does it have to be a, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Why? Why is it him blowing himself to just talk about the the? Oh my God! The small small like, gangers. Because I include here. myself. Because I include myself in that group. Because Fuck you. Small gangers. Small gangers trying to understand nullsec. Uh, nullsec life is is impossible. It's too complicated. Like I said, like I said if I lived in low sec, my fucking like I would I would have high grade snakes and 
the fucking rookie ships. Also, do you Jimmy know? Joe. Do you know? I also have seen Losec by the or in Nullsec, by the way. Do you know what I do? For, like warlords, of the deep when they come to our space and I catch them and I have a fleet that I can thing. Well, it's I it's fucking guys. disgusting, dude. Anyway, sorry. Let's continue. It's a disgusting wow. feed that you that you do is what it is. There are, there are that, no feeds. I'm gonna get that fucking nap next time it comes to tell. <laughs> we got we uh, heard about that uh, bomber that you tried to drop on the imp, Bill. What? <laughs> that wasn't you. What? Well, no, okay, Redline, how about this? How about we, we do our spin offs And we, that, we, it was you know, we got your ass. Redline, can I raid whoever I want? Oh, right, we're just right. we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Raised. We're just gonna oh, do okay. a. We're just gonna do a thing. <laughs> it, it's fine. So, does anybody have any final thoughts for us tonight? I know we've we've got way more viewers than the amount of viewers that I normally say is our cutoff point. But what yeah. you guys don't understand is that I've been up since three o'clock in the morning. Um, because I fucked my sleep schedule up entirely, and I need to go to bed. I don't trust anybody else to host the stream right now oh, with all the spies in the uh, channel. You could raid AP. He's uh, streaming no. small gang PvP. You I'm can not educate raid some of these. No brains him. Oh, hey okay. Redline, I do have something to say. Oh, I did no, no. redeem guide the raid, and I'm not sure if that is responsible for me guiding the raid at this point. Um, I mean. Oh, Seda said he'll host it. That's that's there you go. perfect. Let's that, that's not oh, there. Inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> Interceptible. Uh, that that moment where he came on the stream and said that was just was my favorite thing. My favorite. Redline. Thing of all time. Have you really been up since three a.m.? No, Volvin, I just oh, said that man. because it was a fun thing to say. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, like, that sounds like fun, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's everyone's not. just on here to spin. It right? is fun! Have you never sat at your desk and looked out the window like, man, that is some good air I'm seeing? No. I, what, are, you are you high? high? No, no, I'm not. Really, really strange. Is my final statement, Red Line. My final yes, statement sir. for the show is is that I had a lot of fun in the beginning of the show when we were talking about stuff that mattered. And there's nothing more tedious than listening to a bunch of small gang guys talk about how in intricate detail it, it doesn't matter. Can confirm. They're fucking ten ply, Res, bud. Eat a dick, dude. I will. It's yeah, so tedious. I think. I think. I worked in this, and I had this 3.5 billion ship with this pod, and we did this. We came in at this angle, and the vector on this 5.673 thing was so Honestly, great. Not like high tech tech all this stuff. Briz, Briz, can I just say this? In the in the very short term future, we are going to run into each other, my friend. We're going to have a good time. I will tell you that. I hope this, so. This is. Uh, I hope you thing. feed like usual. I hope you feed I'm like just usual. Saying. Have you looked at my fucking keyboard? You incessant little fuck. God. You can't be oh, any more high tech. Really I crazy. literally we're have a. We're supposed to be looking at so bad about him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, boys and girls, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm trying to end the show so that I can go to sleep, and they won't let me. They won't let me. They won't fucking let me do it. So now I had to mute myself in Discord, so that I could say that we are going to be ending the show soon. Um, I'm going to let these people keep talking for a little while longer, um, and then the show will just end abruptly within the next, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna unmute the Discord now, and then you can hear them do their thing, and, uh, and this will be our send-off. So I, I can't just let it play out, because I, I can't have an unsupervised stream. It's against the rules. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of where. So, back to it now. Hmm. What do I say? I say, send your uh foot to Anon. Shut up. What? What? Okay, moving Don't on. Don't ask me. Questions. No, Jeremy. 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 What are your final thoughts? Um, I'd like to thank everyone who came out for to talk to me. Because uh, this is my show, obviously. I'm just gonna, let's check everyone who watches the show. Apparently, I. <laughs> wow, that, 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 was, that wasn't even me, dude. That's super talk. Jeremy, please continue. There are rude people it, who have um, access to your kicking you out. Hey, I've recruited. Oh, apparently, I've gotten five people to talk to a brave recruiter uh, while I'm on the show. God help you all. Uh, brave is recruiting if you want to come join the best alliance in the game.
And off to Big Bill. Big Bill the boss, what are your final thoughts? So the most exciting thing happened to me today. All right, so I was flying a rhino ship. And... <laughs> you keep oh, my gosh. The no, that was not that was not Loki. Totally Loki Bill. did not do a fucking thing. I'm actually <laughs> interested. I, I was interested in what Bill's day was gonna be like, and then you guys That was that, that was the point. He left the channel. Like he me he was memeing you. Just well, move on. What a it's fine. He what a fucking good. <laughs> All right, yeah, Rich Richmond. Rich Richmond, what are your final thoughts, dude? Well, we at Flaming Dragons, we are running dojo classes and teaching people how to small gang PvP. Him, and I will demonstrate to you in these fleets where we will teach you that I can be in a clean pod and I can be in a clean ship and I'll still kick someone's ass. And it's not the pod or the bling that makes me, well, who I am. Hell yeah, It's dude. the people that you fly with. And, well, the I am ready you. to relive the dreamer's the nightmare. was the friends we made along the way. Oh my god. Oh, what's this All right. name? Dominark, what's your final thoughts, dude? I did really appreciate you guys going off on that weird ass tangent there at the end because it gave me plenty of time to get really fucking high. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Excellent. I got a shout out. I got a shout out to the players of EVE Online. Um, the thing that a lot of line members are going to have to do, and it's very unfortunate, in many alliances, is determine if the content they're receiving from said alliance is worth what they may have to loan it and ultimately risk to save their organization and allow them to continue bringing them gameplay. <coughs> War bonds. And to those players that are doubting whether or not they want to continue with their commitment to their respective group, I say to you, Banana Republic is recruiting. I've okay. always wanted some cheap, you know, dress clothes. <laughs> All right, Marius, Pont, Mercy, whatever the fuck that says. What are your final thoughts? It's a literary character. I wouldn't expect you to know. Anyway. Wow. Uh, my final thoughts are when we were talking about undocking and blingy pods, I undocked in my monitor pod and nearly got tackled. So I'm a bit shook. What is your monitor pod? If you don't mind me asking. Probably uh, I do mind you asking. Oh, uh, hmm. I wonder what else it might be other than snakes. Well, if you run mutants, it's snakes. If it's not mutants, do you run a virtue pod so you can scan real good? I don't even know what the fuck virtue implants are. Oh okay, God. so he's not that important. Redline! Redline! Red I go you have last any final all thoughts? the time. I go last Oh, I'm time. sorry. Rundle All Nighter. Do you have any final thoughts? All friend? right. So, yeah, I will. Uh, two people shout out here. I will give a shout out to Super Lisa. Thanks for coming to listen. And Crimson Samus in the, the chat here tonight who has learned nothing. I'm sorry you learned nothing. And remember, if you're ever lucky enough to fuck me, you won't need to dig pennies out of a fountain. All right, then. I think that was the most educational part of the show. Riker, my friend, <laughs> any final thoughts? <laughs> the only education. Uh, so there's this, there's, this, uh, there's this channel called Fleet 10 and Test. It's called the Dunning-Kruger Platoon. Um, the convers you can guess what kind of conversations go on in a place called the Dunning Kruger platoon. Anyway, I have lost more brain cells during this one show than I have in ten not ten in two years of going to that channel and test every single day. So congratulations. We broke another world record. Excellent. That for, for success. Episode this, two. Op success, boys. So it's like, this is your brain on Eve. This is your brain on Trash Talk Tuesday. Yeah, basically. Excellent. Seger, 1737. What are your final thoughts, my friend? Uh, my final Wait, we thoughts don't give, are... We don't give him final thoughts anymore. He oh, says sorry. Three fleets uh, of Seger, fuck you. No, I'm actually, three fleets I a week. Blah, 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 blah. Sure. And goodbye. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let, him, let him have it. Oh. No, I, I already he kicked got him out. kicked from fuck the you. channel. Don't All right, Seger, him. what are your final thoughts, my friend? Rude. That's why we don't Jesus talk back. Christ. Yo, that's why you don't talk back to the fucking host. What are your final thoughts? <laughs> Asshole. Oh, um, fucking power tripping out here. <laughs> I run fucking fleets. I run <laughs> fleets with people run anything. generally who are a little bit incompetent. Well, yeah, I um, you run when I run all sec fleets anyway. Hey, what do you want to so, do? Sager, shut up the fuck up. Sager, what are your final thoughts? Literally, 
five pages of Athenars that have been abandoned by other goons. They were haunted. They're so all you know. dead. By the way, they're all dead. Um, thanks to some very wonderful people in PL, a habit included. And I also have a shout out to my friends in high sec. Fly fearlessly. If you're looking for something to do and you want to fly fearlessly, join them. Guy Hayu, he'll actually include you in everything and teach you the ropes. And Redline three times a week. I surrender the show back to Redline 13. Thank you for surrendering the show, Sabine. All right, so who do you guys want to raid? Oh, Cap I should Sparkles. probably. Who's Cap Sparkles? 404. Motherfucker, the Minecraft YouTuber. 404 oh. HD. Oh. Doing Eve. 404. 404 is playing fucking World of Warcraft. He's not playing Eve. Yeah, he's playing, oh, he's playing WoW. He's playing 404 while he plays fucking uh, WoW. Our... Donut operator. Right. Anyways, uh, let me uh, let's, let me let's give my final thought. So let's just let's just give my final thought, and then we'll you know we'll do what we do. So uh, again, um, I want to make sure that everybody knows that everybody who comes to this show is literally like they are invited and they accept the invitation, knowing full well that it is a literal shit show. Um, it's insane, but we love it. It's it's amazing. And the fact that you guys are here watching, the fact that any of you who are going to watch on YouTube or listen to the podcast later uh, are, are watching and listening is amazing. And you guys are what makes the show actually worth doing. So thank you for watching. Um, and thanks for your support as well. We really appreciate it, um, especially when you subscribe for free on Twitch TV. Um, and also make sure you check out the New Eden Post website. We are recruiting writers. Uh, it is paid work now, so you will get paid if you want to write just about your experiences in EVE. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, and we have really good editors for it. So, anyways, Question that's... Uh, what? It Can it be memeish? No. Damn it. What's... What the f Rain is a really good editor, so she uh <laughs> oh, Yo, can, can I just say can I just say one thing by the way? Congratulations to all of us. Uh currently this show has made Eve Partner recently. Or CCP partner, or whatever the fuck it is that they call it. And I think that that's actually kind of a good thing, considering like we, we are on like the extreme spectrum of uh of Eve content Autism? generally. Well, uh, t tonight for sure, uh, I could point to a few names, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to embarrass uh, people who come on the show. So congratulations to all of us for making that happen. Congratulations to Redline with his new Eden post shit. He's like new Eden post shit. some some giant Eve Online like I'm making a multi-million dollar now. empire. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, it's, it's worth more dollars you're than like, form. You're like a mini, a mini, Goons mini, mini Rupert, shit. Rupert Murdoch. So congratulations to Redline. Congratulations, congratulations to all of us, and thank you all for <laughs> more making the like show a, success. More like actually, more like a mini RuPaul. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I actually, but, but thank you. But I'd like to thank everybody because I actually do enjoy, uh, for some reason, uh, doing the show. And I think actually, despite how fucking autistic it can be. Uh, we actually do get a, a really good value of, of actual news and on bias news to some extent, like we usually have more than one opinion calling each other out on stuff. So, so thank you very much, everybody for, for doing thank that stuff. Miss I mean that, I mean that sincerely. Thank you very much. Well, I guess I don't go last anymore. All right. Goodbye show. Imperium is broke. You heard it here. Imperium is broke. Indeed, Imperium is broke. You guys got all the chances. Volvin, are you fucking scrolling your mouse wheel right now, dude? Yeah. yeah Why? He's Why do you connect it? Why you employ a push to talk key to be? Why? Why do you scroll your mouse wheel when you're talking? I'm bored. Well, what? stop it. We Please can hear it, and it's really fucking, fucking annoying. Set a push to talk, dude. No, his thing is he hasn't set a push to talk. No, he does I have a push to talk. To talk. <laughs> it's just every Are time you push he to talks talking while scrolling. Yes, every yeah. time he talks, it's like he's nervous to be on a Jesus show with Christ more than a stream with more than three viewers. 
Get your God. fucking shit together, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, Unbelievable. Mask on. Okay, guys, we're rating three foot ninja six five, so make sure when you get over there, you tell him Trash Talk Tuesday sent him, give him a bunch of love, follow his stream. If what he's doing is worth watching, throw him a, an XOXO in the chat. What's this Discord? Oh, that's fair. All right, let's go. Let's go say hi to the dude. And yeah. don't link your corp Discord in the fucking fucking channel. You fucking mango monkey boy.